Good evening, everyone. And on behalf of the Armchair Dragoons and myself at over here at Panache Wargaming, I'd like to welcome you to the uh, San Diego Historical Game Convention, my little corner of it, uh, where we're going to join with Sean Connery, because we love Sean Connery, and uh, we are going to play some games. We have a, a little bit of a different feature tonight. Usually we jump in with some folks that are pretty familiar with the games, and uh, more importantly, with Tabletop Simulator. But one of the things that Harold and the crew that did this for San Diego Games Convention wanted to do was uh, show how you can use Tabletop Simulator to do this sort of distributed gaming. And so by their own admission, I have three very kind and patient gentlemen who are, uh, hey, Haz, yes, you are first. I would expect nothing else in Blue Her, um, uh, who have never before played the Tabletop Simulator. So that's what they're, they're, uh, they're or at least they don't have a lot of familiarity with it. So they're going to uh, gonna play it. And what are we going to play? Well, it wouldn't really be a Saturday Night Fights crew, uh, even if it is on a Friday, if it weren't Blue Her. Um, this is a brand new scenario that I've built. It's one of Ross McGee's from the old Meldrum War Gamers. You should all love it. It is the Battle of Piave. Uh, as I was sharing with the group before, this is one of those really cool Napoleonic battles where A, the French aren't necessarily the dominant force on the field, and B, Napoleon is nowhere nearby. Um, and C, as someone else correctly observed, as a tactical matter, the French are stuck on the other side of an inconvenient river. So, uh, lest they be chastised by those who follow the channel on a regular basis, I'm just going to jump over very quickly and send out a tweet telling folks that they can come over and join us and uh, make fun of me as I poorly teach rules again. Oh, gracious. There it is. Sometimes I forget the hashtags. All right, now they'll be able to find us, and I can go here, and we can go there. So, uh, first of all, I want to welcome our guests, because these are folks that we've never had at our particular table before, although one of them has been a regular participant in the chat, and we're very happy to have him. Achilles, good evening. Glad to have you by. Well, since Delanor is not here, I'll say it for him. Vive l'Empereur. Oh, he's going, to be so, he's going to be so happy you would say that. The, uh, having having overcome many obstacles, I'm, I'm very proud of him. He would not give up, even though we struggled a little bit to get him online. Very happy to have Roger with us this evening. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, way, way over here on the other side, behind a whole lot of white-coated Austrians, we, uh, we have Andy. How are you? Great. Glad to be here. And uh, we discovered that Andy is actually not too far from me here in the great city of Milwaukee. He's 90 miles to the west in the great Wisconsin capital of Madison. So even though we're bouncing this off the third moon of Pluto to get this here, we're, uh, uh, we are still uh, close to each other. So that's great. So this is Blucher. And there's a little bit of teaching that we've already started with Tabletop Simulator. But it's also, we're, so we're going to teach a little of both. Uh, we've already talked, and I don't know if, Roger, you caught this. So I'll just go over this very quickly. Roger, you may notice that at the upper right, there is a degree marker, it, and it should be right to the right of a man lifting weights. And okay. if, you, if you see that up there at the upper right of your screen, it's in your menu, uh, you're going to you're gonna want to make sure that that is at 15 oh, yes. degrees. Make sure that is 15, 15. degrees. 15 degrees, yep. yes, sir. That's the lowest. Hey, and Tabletop Simulator Berserk Games, listen to me. I have played your game for 3,000 hours and proselytized it to hundreds. Get me five degree turns for God's sake. But right now it's 15. Number two, you'll see just to the left, you'll see that dude lifting weights. If you left click that, you'll see it's a sliding bar. Make sure it is all the way at the bottom, please. Whenever you're playing miniatures, there's no point in having a lift height higher than that. Okay. All right. So now you don't have a lot of familiarity with Tabletop Simulator. Do you have you gentlemen played Blucher before? Nope. First time. Oh. Oh. First time. Awesome. Other than watching you guys play. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Great. Uh, Bluchers by Sam Mustafa uh, is, in my mind, the uh, state of the art in brigade level Napoleonics. It's the best one there is, and uh, part of the reason for it is just elegance and simplicity. Obviously, you have your units, which are single bases. They're composed of infantry. Oh, how am I doing that? That is the tab key. 
If you wish to get my attention and point to something particular on the map, just hit tab and you'll give me a nice little arrow. Sorry, that little piece of road went rogue on me. I don't know why. There you go. Tab key. Uh, and so you have both infantry and you have cavalry pointing out over on the French side here. Now, one thing the French don't have a lot of, I will observe, although they have one, is artillery. As I say, these are brigade level formations, so you figure about, you know, several, these are many, many hundreds of men in each one of these units. Every turn, we're going to work through a fairly basic turn sequence. We're skipping, because I always skip, the uh, information phase. I don't particularly care for it. It is a part of Blucher, but even Sam admits that when you do, uh, when you play this game with miniatures, you can give it a pass. Uh, what is the turn sequence? Well, it's right over here on our helpful playing aids, the uh, the Nisano. Uh, we're gonna, we always start with the movement phase. We take turns. The scenario di dictates who starts. It is an I go, you go system. And each turn though, each side is going to roll the secret momentum dice. The French will roll for the Austrians, the Austrians for the French. How many momentum dice you roll will vary with the scenario. A standard game is three. Okay. You're going to roll those dice, and I'm going to pull out one of these die rollers because I want to make you all familiar with how these work. Put it right here in the middle of the table. The way these work is you just take the left and the right. You see this minus sign and this plus sign. You just click on it, and it makes the number go up. Click on it, makes the number go down. All left clicks. And when you want to roll it, hit the number. And it tells you what I rolled. Now, you'll notice this didn't print because this is secret. Now, if I had put it on, it would have printed and shown you what I rolled. Every turn, you're going to roll for your opponents. That's how many momentum points they get. What do they do? That's how they move. You go in and you decide the first thing you're going to do is move groups or forces. A group or a force has to be a member of the same core. You'll notice here, for example, this is 1st Brigade Colorado. It is part of 8 Corps. So all these guys... All five of those units, they are part of the Austrian 8th Corps. They can all be activated together. To be activated as part of a corps, you have to be within one base width. Now, base width is a huge part of Blucher. It is three inches. So as long as you're within three inches measured from any point to any point, you may be activated as part of a group move or a formation move. What do you do? You then will move your unit. How do they move? Another piece of TTS you must learn. Left click and hold the unit. And then hold down the tab key. That will create a ruler. Keep the tab key held. Or if that's what you're doing there, that's simple measurement. You can do that too. But this way, I can just scooch this guy straight ah. ahead. In this instance, move him like that. Like that, okay. Units in Blucher have two movement rates. If they move straight ahead, straight ahead, dead as a rail, they may move their biggest, their best movement rate. In the case, for example, of infantry, that is two base widths or six inches. They may pivot prior to movement up to 45 degrees. How do we know what 45 degrees is? We grab the unit and using our WASD system, we hold it, click Q and E to pivot them left and right. Get you spinning them around. Every click, every tap, because we change that number at the upper right, is 15 degrees so you can click it three times if you then click it left and right and then go straight ahead you can go straight ahead and it's as far as you like you um if however 
and that is for open terrain. If you enter this rough, see this rough over here and it's all over the place. These are not trees, this is rough. If you cross a stream, if you enter a town, if you cross this berm, that is rough movement and it cuts your movement to your slower rate, reducing it to three inches. Also, if you want to change your facing more than that 45 degrees and straight, if you want to change your facing after you start moving, basically, if you want to do anything other than march straight ahead, you must move at that slower rate. So let's say, and, and when you do that, it gives you great flexibility in maneuver. Some that gives people the itch sometimes, but it's not bad. So for example, let's say I wanted to side slip this guy. I could move him three inches instead of his usual six. And I could just move him sideways just so. Everybody you move, if you move them as part of your formation, costs you one momentum point. Okay. When you are done moving a formation, we will be asking the other opponent, you will be asking your opponent, I just moved these five guys. Do I have momentum points left? If they say yes, you proceed to your next force. If they say no, you're done for the turn. You never quite know how many momentum points you've got. If you keep going, you can then move these fellas, because you can see they're all in the advanced guard. You could move the nine core, you can move the cavalry reserve, etc. All movement proceeds along the same basic principles. Roads are of no benefit in Blucher, with two exceptions. One, they assist you in crossing stream, the streams like this. And two, every unit in Blucher, if it has not activated before, may make a reserve move. This is a very long, this is a very long, significant move that it can make. We'll go over how long it is in case any of you want to try to make it. You might want to take a peek over here at these guys that are going to take a minute to get on the board. You know, that are going to take a little while to get on there. But uh, that, that is, the, they can only do it once. And they can only do it on their first activation. In that one instance, they may freely follow the road. So those are the two benefits of roads. Everybody wants to know, what about charging? Because that's part of movement. Let's imagine that there's a little fratricide going on here, and these two Austrian units are going to attack each other. Charge movement is just like regular movement. It's typically the the uh, it is typically their higher of their two movement rates. And by the way, a lot of this stuff I should point out is summarized right over here. You know, I I want to uh, I want to make clear that that stuff is all set up over there. Let me just get back real quick. Ooh, I want to see who's joined us. Holy cow. <laughs> Kurt L. It is indeed Blucher. Um, Ermai Gerd, it's a berm. Ian Jackson has joined us, which I'm sure will make this a pun festival. The uh, In any event, so everybody wants to know how we do, you know, how it is that we do uh, charges. Charges are uh, that you may turn 45 degrees in the advance, just like you did before. You can turn, pivot 45 degrees. Then you go straight ahead, no turning. Charge movement is six inches for infantry, eight inches for cavalry. You must see the unit you're charging at the start of the charge. So if this, so if this unit was blocked because other units do block line of sight, it could not do so. In addition, the center point of the unit must aim itself and target the unit it's charging it can't miss it in this fashion that's not a legal charge units in blucher do not conform units go straight in and stick and we resolve them as melee later 
charges are not interrupted, not interrupted by rough terrain. It's four inches, no, it's six inches, no matter what. They get to go rushing off in there. One of the most important things a unit can do instead of move is to prepare. I know Sam Mustafa, Professor Mustafa, he doesn't like it to be said, but this is the spiritual equivalent of forming square. It's preparing to receive a charge from horse. It, you, it takes all your actions for that turn, and it makes melees against advancing horse much, much better. If you have horse in the vicinity, think very seriously about preparing, because otherwise the suffering starts, and I don't want that to happen. When we're all done with maneuvering, we're going to turn and first fire our cannons. Blucher has a pretty interesting approach to gunnery. If you mouse over any one of the artillery units, I got one right here, you're going to see that they have five numbers, in this case, underneath them. Each one of those numbers represents how many dice you're going to roll if you are firing that gun. They have a limited supply of ammunition. When it's gone, the unit retires from the battlefield. It goes away. Okay? And you're going to roll that many dice. Generally speaking, to hit in Blucher, you must get a six. To score a hit, you must get a six. Other units block. Buildings block. I don't think anything else on this board blocks line of sight. What you may ask is the range of guns. Why it is terribly, terribly long. Canister range is six inches. 24 inches is long range. What do you hit? You'll notice if you mouse over any of the units, they have an Elan. Every hit reduces a unit's Elan by one point. When a unit is down to one Elan, it may no longer advance on the enemy. It may still shoot, it may still do other things, but it may not advance. When it, all its Elan is gone, it is dead and removed from the board. After we've done our artillery firing, after we've done our artillery firing, we then shoot our musketry. Musketry is done using the Elan number. You're going to roll that number and seek to get a six. Now there are modifiers all over the place and we'll go over them as they come up. Suffice to say some of the most important ones are attached artillery, like these fellows right there. That means they've got nestled in brigade guns, very nasty. And also the French typically, and I'm assuming they do, yep, they have skirmishers here in this converged Voltigeur Brigade. Notice the pretty Voltigeurs. I'm very pleased with those guys. Those guys look very nice. Uh, oh, and I would be remiss. All the Austrians are provided to us by friend of the Armchair Dragoons, Giorgio Barato. He is our modeler, so bless his heart always. Um, okay, so that's how we do the musketry. Melee. The way melee typically works... It's a contest of Elan. You're going to, and there are modifiers, of course, and we'll go through them when we get there, but the bottom line is you're going to roll for Elan and try to get fours, fives, and sixes. Whoever gets the most, they're going to have some benefit. One key aspect in Blucher, if a cavalry unit charges and does not destroy the infantry unit it's trying to melee, it is the cavalry that bounces out. On the argument that the cavalry that the infantry has survived and it didn't break the infantry, so it was repelled. Doesn't necessarily mean the cavalry's dead, but it does bounce out. Another important thing a unit can do in its activations is rally. And this is an activation. Remember, I told you after that with a force movement, you do these things all together. There are certain things units have to do by themselves, and one of them is rally. To rally, a unit must be a distance away from the enemy, and it rolls a single die and tries to get some of its lost Elan back. It may never get its last Elan point back. One interesting convention of Blucher, and you'll notice this at Nisa now, you notice there's a lot of turns here. Well, actually, there's really only half as many. Each of you gets a full turn. So what we're going to say is the first turn goes to the French, the second to the Austrians. So it's 
in a typical game, it's only half as many. I've never asked Dr. Mustafa why he did that, but uh, that's what he did. Army morale. Well, we'll talk about winning once we get to the scenario. So those are the basics of the rules. Obviously, I'm going to teach a lot more once we get into the... Oh, and let me others also say one last thing. This is important. When you are squared up and into a village, and these are all villages, you got to get squared up and in there using your slower movement. You may prepare. When you are prepared in a town or a built-up area, that's a garrison. And is a very powerful thing. It is very, very hard to get out. However, you may not shoot out of a garrison. You, you, you cannot do musketry. Nor can anyone do musketry in. You may do artillery in, though that will come with a demerit rather than a bonus. All right. Before I switch to the scenario and let you start pushing some guys around... Any questions about this very basic introduction? Are there any defensive factors for uh, being outside of a town, being in any of the other terrain? There is in melee. If you are in rough terrain, it is a demerit to both of you. If you are standing in water, now we're going to find out that you can't cross this stream except at the bridges, I believe. Certainly once the Fords hit. But yeah, the only things that give you that advantage are uphill, which we don't have any hills, and rough terrain. So for example, if we had trees, which we also don't. Is it is it Blucher where uh, both sides in a melee take damage, even the, lo even the winner? Correct. Okay. Yes, you will. Has is right, but these are, those are has his grenadiers, huh? Right there. <laughs> those are. Those are his grenadiers. And those are his gunners. So you take it back, Haz. You take it back. My friend Hasdrubal is our official Blucher expert and rules watcher. So he's out in the void. He's in the uh, YouTube chat making sure I'm honest, which uh, I always try to be. All right, I'll get rid of that. Any other questions before I describe the scenario? All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> the Piave River can only be crossed at the fords at Nervesa, Priula, and San Nicol. Um, that is here, here, and here. There's one to be imagined just north of San Nicol. It is difficult movement. Remember I talked about difficult movement, but it's better than impassable. <laughs> Due to the rising river levels, the fords are no longer fordable after the following turns. I'll have to be tracking that. Any unit midstream completes the crossing. And after that, you can only cross at these points via a ferry. If you attach over, if you go over using a ferry, you lose your attached artillery trait. You don't want to do that. Nervesa closes at turn 8, San Nicol closes at turn 10, and Priula closes at turn 14. The stream can only be crossed by infantry and cavalry. It's difficult maneuver. Artillery can only cross at the bridge at Barco or Campana. There is said to be a bridge here and here. There is a dike running between the <laughs> Piavisela stream and the Piave River. This does not affect movement. It is not rough movement, but attacking units. Aha! And there's the uh, to your question. Attacking units are considered attacking across difficult terrain. Artillery fire is blocked. It is obstructed. So we'll go through the two troops. Where you are set up for the Austrians is pretty well where you're supposed to be. Each of the villages count as a broken unit as, as we calculate force morale. Because that's one of the ways to win is to break your opponent's morale. So every unit that they lose counts as a broken one. What do I mean? If the French are able to get up to take Barco, 
La Mandra, Campena, Tetze, and Boca di Strada, which are not that one. Oh man, yeah. If the French get back there, they get a point. Uh huh. We will, we will, we will mark those as costing the Austrians a morale point should they lose them. The French, on the other hand, lose it if they lose San Michele and Cimandolmo. Victory conditions. You win by breaking each other's morale. The French get three momentum dice, the Austrians only two. It is a 37 turn, so really about an, 80, an 18 turn game. Which I think you're going to see, given the size of these forces, is going to proceed very quickly, at least he said hopefully. <laughs> let's, let's, talk about your, let's talk about your guys coming on. Desay is marching on. Uh, the reserve is marching on, and I think you can see where they are. Grouchy, and yes, it is that Grouchy, is set up uh, on the map at saint Michel. Where is dude? Where is he? Oh, did I stiff him? That's a big surprise to me. I did. I stiffed Grouchy. That's cruel of me. <laughs> well, if anybody was going to be stiffed. It probably it right, be. yeah, it's a long, long story, true. <laughs> where, where is dude? Come on, boys. Some very nice horses. That makes more sense. Yeah. You'd think I would have something that I could read from, you know. Anyway. And then your other fellows start arriving on turn five. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And you're going to get reinforcements turn five, seven, fifteen, and the Italian guard at 21. Note you do get the these guys are actually is that them? Yeah, speaking of Giorgio's guys, huh? Those guys are nice. I like those guys. I never painted that well, gentlemen. I never did. Uh, okay, so everybody is set up there. So you understand how you win? You understand the terrain. This this is un this is impassable, uh, except at the fords. And then once the uh, the rains really come at you, it's going to be uh, even worse than that. Uh, let's see here. And the French are first. So let us begin. And what's the worst that can happen? I got to make sure that the French only have two more dice. Oh, what are the morales? The uh, Austrian, let's see here, what are my forced morales? The uh, morale of the French army is nine. That's, it's a calculation in Blucher that runs off the number of units. But uh, suffice to say that the scenario, that Ross's wonderful scenario helps me cheat and tells me that it is nine for the French. And that changes as reinforcements arrive? It does not. It does not. It does that not. is your overall morale. That okay. is your overall morale. And you are correct at six. That's good. Yeah, you get your whole morale, which is an interesting choice that Ross made. Um, it's typically one third of your uh, total forces, which I think squares up nicely. Uh, and yes, I have a die roller there, and I have a die roller there. And I have. Three dice for the French. All right. What I'm going to ask every turn is for the Austrians to roll for the French and the French for the Austrians. So if uh, I have 
And I, I don't know how you French gents want to break up your troops. I'll let you talk amongst yourselves. But in the meanwhile, Andy, if you would please give them three momentum dice using this roller. Well done. And you'll notice that didn't print. You know that number, they don't. So French folk. Oh, is that uh, R. Taylor, right? I'm sorry, what is your yeah, name? That's... Oh, Roger. Roger, hey, Roger. Um, okay, how do you want to do this? Do you want to take um, everything on the right side of the table and include the, the center road, and I'll take everything on the left? Uh, that works for me. Okay. Now, uh, how do we determine um, who all arrives at, uh, at what road or what fort, I mean? Uh, what I will tell you, well, the fellas you have now are the fellas you have. If yep. uh, if you wish to hear of your reinforcements, I can certainly tell you what's next. Not a secret. Your next troops will be, he said, clicking maniacally, <laughs> will be McDonald's Corps with Eugène on the roads, on the table edge south of Priula on turn five. Five, okay. Yeah. So that's these guys here. Mm -hmm. Six brigades. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Oh, yes. And one last thing. You have this gun. You can put it anywhere you wish. But once it's there, it's attached there. It's attached. Okay, let's see who's most likely to get some use out of that gun. It's got to be your but, infantry. <laughs> is the, uh, well, sure, you, you're, you've got guys about to cross, but uh, yeah, and we can put them with the advance guard, though. They could get overwhelmed. And teaching you something we all learn eventually in Tabletop Simulator, you will notice at the lower left you have a chat bubble. You also have three tabs, Global Game, and because you're on a team, you have a team chat that allows team jokers to type to each other and not have to share knowledge with the nefarious okay. Andy. So yeah, we could attach them to the advance guard and uh, you know, put them up in a berm, and looks like we got a field of fire and a bunch of Austrians there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think we want the artillery probably in the center of the field somewhere. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> put them now, where put them now where do, does, Okay. Now, does the green uh, rough stuff uh, block line of sight? It does not. Okay. Cool. And where do they get? Just put them where adjacent. Just don't. I wouldn't put them in the fort if I were you. You can put them to the right, to the left. Oh, but, I can do something like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. As long All as right. they're. As long now you you do want to kind of keep things flush in blue curve because you don't want to give the uh, guys advantage, um, but uh, as long as they're within a base width, they can activate with that advanced guard should you wish. Yeah, hear you. Okay, and, uh, yeah. And a question about the uh, the cavalry column mm -hmm. on the right. Mm -hmm. I see that uh, there there are light cavalry brigades at both ends mm -hmm. of the column. Is that is that deliberate? It is as it was given to me in the rule set. Feel free to organize them as you choose. As long as they stay in a column, doesn't matter to me. Okay. I just didn't know if there was uh, anything bad about uh, the light cavalry division being out of uh, touch. Nope. Nope. It's all okay. it's all by core. Okay. So you can see it's cavalry reserve. It's that CR thing. Mm -hmm. it's all, and it's all. Roger, Roger, pay attention to the... Uh, when you drag over them, you'll see that some of them have a shock capability. Like your uh, dragoons. Yeah, uh, yeah, the dragoons have shock. Yeah. That, is right. a bonus when, that is a bonus when attacking. But okay, your light cavalry like... won't. Right. Yep, I knew who, I knew who my battle cavalry are. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go.
Okay, so I guess we're supposed to uh, activate somebody. Yeah, I should move some. You should tell me who you want to activate. One group, one group at a time. Yeah, it's going to be you first, Roger. This oh, and what we're going to do, the way this works for the when you have a team, you go to both got you go to both guys on the team. They each get an activation, only one, and then we check. Aha. Okay. Okay. Well, let's uh, activate the cavalry column then. All right. Away they so go. That's going to be now. Obviously, they've got started. that. Uh, now, of course, I didn't tell you because uh, you know that that would only be useful information. I did not tell you how far it is that cavalry is allowed to move. Yes. <laughs> it's 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 a strange thing. I mean, I think it's because Sam set it up that it's so simple that he didn't write it directly down. I, I don't I don't judge, but it does it does drive me crazy that it's not it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sit it, it it drives me seriously buggy that it doesn't sit on the chart uh in any event they move they move eight inches or sorry 12 inches 12 or six 12 or six this is obviously rough no matter what you do here yeah so, that's gonna be six six inches forward so we're just gonna go straight and oh that's right i have i have to uh hold i have to do the tab there you go you do it that way, or you can left click and hold the the base. F one. There you go. Go to F one to get oh. rid of that ruler. Okay. Now left click and hold. Now push the tab key and hold. Ah, okay. So there I you got... go. Everybody figured it out sometime. Don't you worry. <laughs> That's not very. It's not very far, is it? Oh no. Yeah. Put your cross in a forward. And you can, you know, obviously you can snug up behind him. Yeah. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five fellows you moved. Now over here, uh, what you want to move? Okay. Um, can we use uh, the reserve move? You certainly can. Let's talk and about the reserve distance. move since you decided to do something very most of ooh, Somebody's talk, talking to me. Now, is that only on the road? No, that is anywhere. You want. It's your first activation, but the problem is you can't enter rough terrain, which is what you've, the problem uh, you've got. But, but you've got a road. Okay. Over there, you've got a bridge. You can use it. Yeah. That's why it helps. Uh, yes, Has wants me to mention, you cannot charge, cannot charge into a BUA, into a build-up area. So so don't do it. Um, yeah, no matter, no matter what our guy... Uh, Dalinar likes to think. So, anyway, so but, how do you attack a BUA then? Uh, you, you, the unit has to be inside it. The point you, you can't charge through it. If there's unit in oh. it, that you can contact it. Understand. Uh, so in any event, you cannot. The only rule with this is that it, you. Uh, oh, I, I suppose I should tell you how long it is. It is a total of thirty-six inches. You can make any bend and curve you wish. End up facing any direction. But it may not pass through any rough, like I said, except via a road. And you may not start, end, or pass through any place that is visible to and within 12 inches of the enemy. So you've got a lot of distance you can cover here. So let's take a look. As you can see... And you said, it's how many inches again? 36. 36. And you can... You know, one of the, what we usually do here, rather than move the unit, because it's a rare case... We do it in segments. So we would call this 9-2. Assuming you wanted to follow the road, which you don't have to do. Right. 9-2. Uh, yeah, I am. Go ahead. You do you. Okay. I'm going to conform to the road then. Yeah. All right. So then oh. uh, we will say then it is 9-2 uh, and then 12-2 and then. 9-2. Yeah. There you go. You're doing it. Okay. You're figuring it out. And then, and then, you want like to stop. This? You want to, no, you want to go back oh. there, stop, okay. remember the number, 10 3, and now pick right. up it. Now you're going to add it as you make your next leg of the geometric move. Okay. So 10 3. Plus. Plus. 
five four, so we're at uh, fifteen seven. Affirmative. And oops. Oh crap. I did that stupid thing. You'll get that. Okay, there we go. And I should Okay, that's six seven, so we were at twenty twenty two four. Correct. And I should be able to get all the way to the town, right? I would agree. Let's take a look and see. Is that within 12 inches? Yeah, you're going to have to stay outside the town. Okay. Because he can How see far? that. Oh, just on the other okay. side because it blocks line of sight. Okay. And the base so, is the, the base. Is, so you could go right up to the... If you want right to. Right up to the... Yeah. Okay. That close enough? Fair enough by me. All right. And everybody behind now. you can conform. Can I uh, do it this way and just pick them up that way? You sure can. You get that's that's advanced tabletop skills. <laughs> All right, I can't see them very well, so I don't know if they're directly behind. Hold on a sec. All right, took a that looked right. It did. You took a chunk of my road with you that I didn't tie down. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's entirely my fault. Every now and then, one scoots away on me. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. And there we go. I didn't leave anybody behind, so we're good. Yeah, you're okay, good. Okay, that's... All right, so that was a total of eight... And at this point, we look over at Andy. Hey, Andy, eight. Can they keep going? Uh, let's see. They can. All right. Now, they don't have much else to move except these boys here. These, these three here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one do it down? Okay. So uh, what is artillery's movement? Or artillery in this case. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Like I say, it's one same, of those... same as infantry, isn't it? Six. I believe it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm just okay. Double cool. Uh, yep. Six. Okay. Sweet. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we've uh, just we have a request to know who our players are. We have Achilles, Andy, and Roger. Achilles is known to those who have been in the chat recently, and uh, Andy and Roger are new players. Happy to have them. Okay, I'm gonna step away for one second. Roger. No pun intended. Very nice. Yes, just like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, and by the way, has you notice they're turning on their centers? I wonder why that is. Has made very nice bases for us, and I've rebased all my guys. All right. I think that's all your guys. Is that not the case, French? I do believe so. All right. Well, you only got one gun, and that gun is currently behind the berm, so it can't go yeah. anywhere. You got no, nobody's in musketry range, which is very, very short, by the way. It's only six inches. Uh, so that'd be it. That's it for your turn. So what we do, we go down here to the Nisenau, and we slide the turn forward to turn two. I see that's already been done here. It is now turn two. And I would respectfully request one of the French folk to uh, go into their secret spot, which is right here, and roll two momentum dice. All right, I'm back. Welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, only two, huh? Yeah, they only okay, get so two. We... And so, uh, right, so nope, need... you, you rolled three there. Don't do that. There you go. I didn't roll anything. I no, just... no, I'm saying you, you, you click. Right. Yeah. Oh, what? okay, what do I need to do to... Uh, there you go. Now just click the two. two dice. Now just oh, click okay, on that, that number two. Oh, that no. looked like a three to me. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, what am I doing wrong? I'm clicking on the three and it's not working. It's a... It's, you're just missing it. Ah. 
So there's... Wait till it becomes a red button. Oh, okay. Jeez. It's not working for you, huh? Well, heck. I, think... I saw a red button earlier, and <laughs> I didn't realize what it was. Okay, I think my a teammates can help this. Achilles, can you help him out? Yeah. Uh, do I need to reduce this nope, to two? It's a two. It is a two. Oh, okay. It is a two. Oh, it does look like a three. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, let me see if we got a weird thing going. Sometimes we get we need a whole new fresh die roller just in case. Check that one out. Sound better up here? That one is. Ah, no. Yeah, that looks like a two. <laughs> All right. Well, there, there we go. Do you get a red okay. button? Okay. Perfect. Yep. Oh, we didn't want that. We got to print off. Now do it again. Obviously, can't tell that naughty person what what his number is. There we go. Superior spies in the ranks. That's that's it. Yeah, <laughs> there are spies. All right, away you go, Andy. All right. So uh, we're going to start with this group over here. Yes. And so to actually enter the village, that would put put me on half move right Correct. so at, at yeah, nine you're, inches yeah. i wouldn't be able to move all the way there Correct. So very fine that right. so uh Having you guys out there is like having an international cast of Statler and Waldorfs. Don't even start. <laughs> and you know I love you guys. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, I got I like am... six. I got like six time zones in the chat. It's kind of a blessing and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Ian he's past his bedtime. <laughs> So you only got six right, inches what, what, on a good day. What, so. what am I doing wrong here for movement? I got All right, take uh, mouse down. over it. Yep. Get yourself an F1 first. There we go. Go to F1. There you go. Left click and go. hold. Now hold down the tab. Now, there you go. There we go. And the way you got to do that, All right. and it's no problem, it, is give yourself a single click to the right using the E key. There you go. Gotcha. You got you to gotta face that way. You got to march the way you're facing. And it's only six. There you go. Awesome. Bring just, like, just, All like, right. just like government work. And you're, I think you're going to... And you've got your uh, lift height dropped all the way down? Yes. Cool. Core appears to be responding. <laughs> They're making a nice echelon over there. They are. They are. Has didn't it give me colored bases because he wanted me to use them. That is why. And was uh, artillery movement different? Nope, it's the same. It's the same as infantry. All right, am I uh, close enough on the stand there? Oh, you're fine. Okay. Uh, oh, a uh, question that often gets asked, may units interpenetrate? Yes, they may, but they may only interpenetrate if they're able to clear the thing they're interpenetrating. And so this is five. Yep. Now you get to move another group because I'm not going to I'm not going to harm you because there's two of them and one of you. So you may move another group. Right. We'll go with this group. And inter interpenetration is not considered a difficult move. It is so not. it's so it's full. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get them up to the edge or Maybe. yeah. That's fine. All right. 
No, I saw it. I swiped stuff from it, Has Come on now. All right, so that was uh, four more. So now at this point, you've moved two groups, so we would, we would have to say, in fairness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, French, do, do the Austrians have any momentum left? Oh. You're out. That's it. Yeah, welcome. This is the world of suffering that often does belong to the Austrian high command. Did not... Who said, <laughs> pen, who said penetrate? Do I have to come over there? Jesus. <laughs> I love these guys so much. Um, okay, so we would next say artillery fire. The problem being... They Arti moved. <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, they moved. <laughs> artillery that moves. Very good. Well done. Um, yep. So that I think is it, right? We're done. Roger that. Turn three. <clears throat> Let's switch to turn three on Nissan out, please. And if I can get the uh, Austrians to roll for the French. All right. Showing the folks at home the number. French, you may go. Uh, let's. I will also remind the French that they get their first reinforcements on turn five. So we're getting pretty close already. All right, Roger. Well, let's see. Uh, on the other hand, uh, don't you want to uh, shake out your column and form? I will. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but I think you probably want to get that advance guard up first. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so the do the advance guard and then all right. I'm stepping out, I'll be back in a second. Roger. quite right yeah yeah the 15 degrees remember i said i wanted it to be better than 15 degrees it's one of the real yeah. limitations um we always we yeah. always say we got to be merciful with each other so yeah that's allowed yeah. that's allowed okay cool and back the French decided they weren't going to leave. Sorry. <laughs> well, there goes that tactic. <laughs> Almost There's worked. Actually, I want, I want to stay behind the berm, if you don't mind. Uh, Sam so. intended for roster sheets, as you yeah. know this. He never intended to mark hits on bases. I know that to be true. Look at his pictures. Look at his own units. Okay, hey, Roger. so... Uh, yeah. One thing to keep in mind, though, I believe that berm blocks line of sight for your artillery. It does. So. It, uh, yeah, but the artillery couldn't get any farther than that. Right, right. Yeah, I just, yeah, just keep it in mind. So. Sure. <clears throat> All right. Is it me? It's yeah. you. All well, right. A uh, quick question, Jim. You yes. cannot move and prepare in the same. Correct. You may. You must okay. stand stock still. That's what I thought. Unfortunate. <laughs> they would have liked to. I know. <laughs> Three. Yeah. Still make them come after you. Yeah. Now, this. Is more complex. Okay, he can't he can't change facing once he starts moving. That's where this three inch thing comes in. Right. He can he can do pretty much you can do pretty much bugger all anything you want if you stick to three inches. I it's see. just you're moving so, three inches at a time. Okay. So tell me if this is a legal move. Then. Watch it. Oops. Oops, I hit the wrong thing here. Hold on. All right, here we go. That's 
two that does that get me over the bridge yet? Uh, yeah, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. Oh. Yeah, well, he doesn't have to cross the bridge in this case, does he? He does. Uh, no, oh, yeah, no, no. You actually, you can. Yeah, at, you know, now that you're you're making a good point, um, you go back to where you were. His point: you can shoot a straight angle. Only the guns have to use the bridges. True, but once I hit that water, I'm down to three inches, right? Well, you're doing. You got to do three inches. I got to be three. Well, you're you're already down to three inches. Yeah, yeah good point. Good point. Yeah. You're good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was next. That's that. good observation. Tactical use. Love it. Love it. The infantry can cross the stream. It's yes. the, the guns that need to take Correct. the bridge. Correct. Gotcha. Now he could do... Oh, no, he can't. Okay, so... All right. Am I... Oh, I put him on top. Dang it. That won't do. <laughs> there, there we go. All right. Formation's a little weird, but okay. Yeah, it's brigade shaking out, as you say. <laughs> yes, true. Very true. All okay, right. so that adds, what is that, three, three more? Three there, and you did three there, so that's six. Hey, uh, Austrian person, can they keep going? They can. Continue. Hey. Hey, then the, here comes the cavalry. <laughs> ah, I love the sound of that. <laughs> I should put it on my Stetson. <laughs> <laughs> it would so, be apropos. It would. Uh, no. Wait. Do I cancel that? Okay, I guess that's it. There we go. Do some of that next level stuff. Oh, dang it. I got it wrong. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't. I don't have to measure. I've already measured oh, for those guys. That's right. Level okay. two tabletop simulator. Well done. <laughs> We're a fast learning class. Love it. <laughs> okay, we'll add five to what we did. And I think that's everybody. So it don't matter none. Yeah. Exactly. All right, gun move, gun can't shoot artillery. Uh, mus how close are now? These muskets moved in, so they got they can't see out of there anyway. Can't shoot out, but they'd be in range if they could shoot out, but they can't. Mm -hmm. But they can't. Uh, that's it then. Let's roll ourselves to turn four. Turn four. Certainly, this game is not dawdling. Uh, and would someone please do the courtesy of letting the French or the Austrians have some momentum? I got it. Roll high for me. Uh, absolutely, he <laughs> wanted to oblige. That's how this works, right? Away you go. All right. Well, we got we got a lot of activity over here. Everybody's coming to the party. Telling you has as long as I've been teaching this, the only thing that Eggman has made any sense is do what you want. Hmm. I'm probably breaking some rules of physics here. Well, if you're going to look to do that, you're going to have to pivot. Yeah. So this, uh, that was the, uh, close to the original. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was arguing with my friend Haz. So if you want to go with that, that's gonna that's gotta be straight. And you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. That looking three? Uh well actually you don't have to go three, you can go six. Because you're going straight ahead. Okay. And this one I have to pivot. So you can go, what, about right up to the edge here? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
all keep them in line. One of the great joys is encountering situations you've not seen before. Well, looking ahead, uh, you run out of momentum when you've used up all your pips or more than your pips. It's you get to keep going. Like, say you're doing a group move. You get to do the entire group move. And when you yep. check, it's so you can actually get yourself a little bonus, if you know what I mean. Right, I understand that, but when yeah. you do the momentum check, it's is it when you uh, exceed or oh, or sorry, yeah, e naturally? equal, equal or exceed, okay. equal or exceed, yes. I get you. All right, that's five right there. All right, like we said, that's one group, so you get to do another group. And I think we need to start moving these guys up. I bet I can select all these and just move them in a group, huh? You, you, I, I don't know. Can you? Save us all some, uh, <laughs> some, some life here. The mouse wants to cooperate. We'll look at that. Because that trick with where you left-click and hold will work with a group selected as well. Uh, Roger, I sent you a message in the team chat. At least I hope it's in the team chat. <laughs> yeah, I hope you didn't send oh. it into open comms. Okay, got it. <laughs> all right, just tripled my productivity there. Nice. You're all welcome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing I do want to point out, and I don't know if this is where you're heading, this guy had plenty enough movement to attack this guy before he garrisons. All right, say, say that again, this guy. This guy here had plenty yep. enough movement to attack. Oh, no, it's right. It's a three, so he wouldn't have made it. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, he wouldn't have made it because he's got to make contact with dude. Yeah, he rolled three. I was six. No, it is six. It is six. Yeah, no, no, no. He gets six no matter what. So he's got enough movement no matter what to come in here and melee him if you wish. In the current status, would he be able to, be able to uh, fire... Or no, is that, that, you can is never shoot right? into or you can never you do musketry into, into or out of a town. So me melee is the only option for Correct. actual mm -hmm. fighting. Yeah. In a town. And and uh, cannon. Okay, right. Well, I think that since that's the move I, move I made, I'll, I'll stand by that and... I don't. It, uh, it, it doesn't take anything back to do it, but it's like I say, it's your call. Um, I, 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 it's more so that you're aware of the rule anyway, because yeah. as Has is pointing out to me, I got to do this to you. Gotcha. As matters stand, which lowers your morale one. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then this was another six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Am I right? Yep. Was that your move? All right. How about an eleven? Did the Austrians have eleven points on two dice? No, they're done. All right. Austrians are finished. Everybody moved. They can shoot. Uh, that's it. Turn five, please. It is turn five. I would therefore ask the Austrians to provide the uh, French some mo dice.
How do reinforcements work since you're going to get some? They come on at the end of the turn. They come on on the, on the baseline where they're called for, which is in this case right here. They come on at the end of the turn. They're going to line up. You can line them up one behind the other. You can line them up next to each other. They must, however, proceed six inches onto the board. The problem, of course, is that they can only cross here, so you're probably going to want to bring them on in column. Anyone that doesn't come on this turn can come on next turn during the reinforcement phase, which again is at the end of the turn. That having been said, French, you have your momentum dice, so you may move. Uh, Jim? Yes. When when the reinforcements come on, can they come in? Can they come on as a reserve move? No, they 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 come on period, and they just stop. They can then reserve move in their next turn. Roger. All right. All right, uh, Roger. You want me to? You want me to go first this time? Yeah, look. Yeah, it's looking like you should. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. <laughs> Okay, um, preparing is an individual move, is that correct? It is, so you have to do that okay. after the formations are done. Okay, uh, in this case, I am not going to, let's see. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually want to move. Well, no, I, you know, I forgive me. I take that back. He can prepare as long as he doesn't move. He can. You can prepare along uh, as part of this group. It just yeah, you can prepare him as part of that activation. So, so I can prepare the first brigade, but I don't have to prepare. I'm sorry, this part of the first brigade, but I don't have to prepare the other two. Correct. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to prepare the part of the first brigade that's in the village. Yep. And um, firing from the you the cannot creek. fire from water ah that was the next question all right so i do need to move these guys all right oh, i keep doing that i'm eventually going to get the hang of that all right i have every confidence <laughs> Oops. There you go. Oops. Dang it. We'll call you out. That's fine. You're out of it. <laughs> All right. And this one. There we go. Very nice. All right. One, two, three. Hop it over here. All right, Roger. Okay. Activate the, the calf. Here comes that calf. Yep. Let's see. He goes straight ahead. He's going to run to that village, isn't he? Let's have a look. So. I would think so. Um, in in, oh, yeah. in, oh, yeah. in this yeah. cavalry can go through the village, but they can't stay in it. Is that correct? No, they can't charge. They can't attack someone thing that's in the village. Yeah, but if they go through the village, that's going to be uh, a yep. right, terrain. right terrain and slow them down. Yep. Okay. Uh, but then these guys are slowed down anyway, so we've also got... correct. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting some nice photographs just... already. I probably just want to. See, that's why Harold's not visiting us. He's sitting around playing with wooden blocks. I'm calling him out. There we go. Ah. Always need you, has. You know that. I keep doing this wrong here. I mean, 
How close? How much you? Yeah, you're not missing it. By, you're missing it by less than I thought. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I'll do that. That you can't. Are you? Were you, you were at six. Oh, I can't do that. Were you at six? Oh, I can't. As long oh, as you yeah, stopped, was, if you were at six, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, I was doing it six. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. Six, you do what you like. <coughs> do what you do. Take a picture of this scrum, shouldn't I? Okay. Done. There's a whole it's tweeting on a lovely picture of our scrum. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so let's see here. So that's what eight. Is that's that? a, yeah, I got it's, eight. It's a total of eight. How about that Austrian person? And you're out of Schlitz. Oh, <laughs> when you're out of Schlitz, oh, when you're out of Schlitz, you're, you're out, out of beer. beer. <laughs> that's a fact. My, 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 my father worked at Schlitz. Uh, Right after the war. <laughs> all right, awesome. Uh, guns still out of range. Muskets all moved. No melees to be talked about. Reinforcement time. So, as I say, right here where Achilles' name is, you're going to want to put whoever's got command of those. We're bringing on the... Let me check if I uh, got it here. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. It's turn five. We are bringing on McDonald's Donald. Corps, labeled with an M, along with Eugene. Yeah, Roger, you're bringing them on. All righty. Okay, That's so all let's... these M's. Like I say, you're probably going to want to bring them on as a column, because otherwise you're not going to real easy get over that river, but I'll leave it to you. I... Oh, I, I quite agree with you. What's six inches? Let's cut to the chase. I didn't look. I'll see you. Yeah, it's basically the river. So you'd want to put your lead element up against the river. Okay. And then everybody right, lines up behind like, them that can get on. Yeah, it looks like a lead with the first division. That's That seems a little on the nose, but I get it. <laughs> about all it's going to fit to. No, no. Be generous to yourself. You got another one. There you go. Shove him in there. Yeah. All right. Now, how does Eugene work? I love this dude. Visited his crypt yeah. in Munich, actually. Yeah, they do tell. So the way he works, he can come in, and it's not come up yet, but it might. At the end of the turn, he can, at the end of a turn, he can come in before you've run out of points, slap himself down, and order everybody within eight inches to do something. So he can slap himself down wherever you want him. I don't know if you're going to come down and need it, but if you think you might, we'll uh, we'll talk about it. We'll show you how you do it. So he kind of hangs off here in the back. He doesn't march around the battlefield. There are sub-commanders in some games, none in this one, that have special abilities and traits. They do have to march with their troops. But uh, Eugen does not. So your uh, so McDonald's boys are uh, on their way. They're gonna have a very very bad day at Bagram, but uh, that's that's telling <laughs> the future. Okay. 
They're on the board. Turn six. Remember, please, that at turn eight, one of the Fords. Which one now? It's, it's this one here, is it not? The uh, let's see here. Turn eight is the one at Nervesa. Yeah. That's about yeah. It's yeah. one on the far left. Yeah, that that one's gonna go to a ferry uh, at turn eight. So that's that bears mention. All right, but that does, however, take us to turn six, which is an Austrian turn. Turn six, please. So I would ask the uh, French to please roll a dice for them. Okay. <laughs> okay. All righty. I'm going to step out for a moment. <laughs> Up Schlitz Creek without a paddle, no lie. <laughs> and if my stand doesn't move, then I'll have an opportunity to. You just you, it sounds as if you walked away from the, the your microphone. Let's try that. There we go. <laughs> Full HD. So your question so was, it, I'm sorry. If uh, if the stand does not move, then it will have a chance to volley. Absolutely. Okay. Well, big mystery what I'll do there. Let's move some of these guys in. Uh, now, so they're going to three. Mm -hmm. And would they, these be able to... Absolutely. Melee. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just get him right up on. We, we, we say uh, we say bonk in the armchair dragoons. Bonk. Yeah, just the... bonk right up there. We got it. Doctrinal term, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in all the manuals. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm. So this is a prepared group, but yep. not many other places for this stand to go. Uh, in he comes. Oh dear. And. Bonk on that one. There we go. Right up, right up and in. There we go. Okay. Right up and in. Right up and in. Absolutely. And Just like that. Then and your gun. You want you? Yeah, you. Get the. And eh, no, it's a little much. For firing purposes, is that does that count as a move? Turning them? Or actually, they're uh, probably yes, out already. Yes, it does. Yeah, well, they can't see anything anyway. Oh, I suppose. Uh, I'll move them up then. Yeah. Not much for them to do. All right, that is that group. All right, so we count one, two, three, four, five. You get another group. Okay. Well. See how far we can get with the advance. I forgot to check the number, didn't I? I don't know it anyway. I'm looking at it. Okay. And then there are three. They can go farther, right? Uh, yep, he can go 12. As long as he doesn't get into any rough terrain or any of that. Decided that the uh, okay. fight around Campania will not be subtle. All right. So, <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, plus five. That's nine. Nine. How about that, French? No, they're done. 
Yeah. You're way done. You had three. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're super extra done um okay so we begin now with artillery which you don't have any of because they moved and they moved but you certainly do have some musketry so we actually get to find out what that's like you're going to use this die over here which prints which is kind of nice and you're going to need to be able to up and down it because it'll vary every time um so we're going to look here at your uh first brigade colorado and we see it's got attached artillery that's great that means that in addition to your line of six you get a set you get a uh, you get a you know, and all of a sudden my head goes blank. I can't, I cannot tell you. I've played the entire freaking Battle of Leipzig with this game. And, and you would think that just for one bloody minute. Bonus? It's not a bonus. That's the, that's the thing I'm checking. Uh, sixes. I wish you need sevens. Yeah, right. Seven dice, you're looking for uh, sixes. Seven dice? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for sixes. Here we go. wanted that to print oh. that's okay but i can look at it and we see okay. that's, that's two hits done that's two hits nice so i go over here and i demerit him to his current of four he has four hits uh okay that's a melee that's nothing uh so it looks like we just got our melees left yes yep. we'll do the uh, simpler of them first which because this town is going to be a mess as i said it's a contest between these fellows here with their six and these fellas here with their six. They're both in rough terrain. You can see that. So that's gonna drop them to five each. So they're gonna be rolling five dice a piece. And we go over here to combat and this shows us our basic modifiers. Um, and we see, well, there's, there's all that. Um, no flanking going on. And here's our very simple set of modifiers. And so I think that's it, yeah. So you're each now. Uh, who controls these lads? First That's, that would be me. All right. So you're going to roll five dice. He's going to roll four, five dice. You want to roll fours, fives, or sixes. And you're rolling five dice each. Simultaneous? Yes. Three. To two. All right. So that's a loss. You, you are going to lose. You, the way this works for you... You lose two Alan. And you are obligated to fall back two base widths facing the same way. You go straight back six inches. Do I run into the guns here? Right through them. Just keep going. Okay. And once you clear them, you're good. Complicated. <laughs> Um, what could go wrong? Yeah, you are. You, this is six to six. It is. It's a straight six to six. But oh my goodness! But, but. <laughs> how some ever? The defender is in a garrison, which jumps him to an eight. And what is worse, you are in difficult terrain, which drops you to a five. The Austrians are rolling a five. The French are rolling an eight. Does Still. the attacher, does the attached artillery impact this at all? That only okay. benefits during firing. Okay, so I'm rolling eight. Is that mm -hmm. right? Correct. And the French okay. are rolling, and the uh, Austrians are rolling five again for fours, fives, and sixes. Right. One. So. Missed my count. I see from the French one, two, three, four, five. Correct. Mm -hmm. And how many do I see from the Austrians? Three. Three. Okay, so they lose. Same deal. And the way Sam thinks about this is that yes, you lose two, which stinks. You now go back the same six inches, facing the same way. He, however, now still does have to lose one. So yeah, you threw some bodies in there and you didn't win. But they are whittled down that little bit. So that's two melees. We had fire, we had melees. So excellent. That's the combat system. Uh, it really doesn't... It The one place it will get more... Comp Go ahead. No, I just said that's sleek. Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice system. I think it's very elegant. And like I said, it managed... Now, admittedly, it took us 40 hours, but we did play the entire Battle <laughs> of Leipzig at the brigade level. So... <laughs> 
Um, all right, we switch it now to this turn marker seems behind to me. Yeah, this is the one that I think is current. Let's get this stuff current. It is now turn seven. Turn seven, please. And uh, I would ask the Austrians to give the French some mo. All right. French, please. All right, Roger, it's you. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. It's going to be a little while before this uh, central uh, Ford gets washed out. Oh, remember, they can. Those guys that are back there can still use their reserve move too, so that'll get them up there a, a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. That's true. If they're, they're so, so setting priorities, of, you know, they what what to move first. So we do these guys first then. All right. And okay. because they're behind this berm, which does block line of sight, mm -hmm. um, you would be able to, uh, you'd be able to, you can pull them right up to the berm without being seen. 36 inches. Yeah, then, well, this guy's on the berm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yes, you do have the guys in front of them, no doubt, but. They, uh. Oh, okay. They can they can do their thirty six inches, but they don't necessarily have to stay on this road here. Correct, they? correct. They got to do it okay. to clear the, the to clear the ford. But other than that, right. So, and uh, in that case, could they uh, like form a line. Sure. Yeah. As long as nobody moves okay. more than thirty six. Hey, Roger. Okay, that shouldn't I, be a problem. I, before you move, uh, check the chat. Moving right up. See, see, see if you agree with me on that. Yeah. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, well, that. Yeah, you sure. see what I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this. I am not going to do Leipzig with LaSalle too, no matter what you guys ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'd play that. I'd probably be dead before it ended. Okay. But... Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll just... be dead. <laughs> I just sent you a chat message. I, I, I'm just going to repeat. Okay. We played Leipzig using this, this, and it took 40. It was 13 sessions. Yeah, that's that's right. Um, okay. Yeah, exactly. You see it? I see it. Yeah. Wait. Right. Let's see. So you... So did everybody else, but oh, whatever. <laughs> it's a teach. It's a teaching game. That whatever. was a, that was a, yeah. This isn't this isn't yeah. exactly tournament level play. Yeah. <laughs> tournament. Oh yeah. That... There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not going to take very long at all. So you can definitely. And what you got to do forward. is you got to do it in legs. Uh. Well. Okay. So, so you, did... you got you got five six, about... six there. Uh, six Let it go and now and then... do it now do it again. Yeah, I mean, considering it, we're talking about thirty some inches. That's. Oh, you can't. I'm sorry, you can't enter the rough because you don't have a road there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so we're going. At, that's as far as we can get. So we can do something like this, however. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's only twenty three inches. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, and then this guy ought to be able to follow. Yep. Yeah. Logic would dictate. out of the rough stuff like that okay that's three for you do we want to activate these uh, gentlemen on the left no they're not moving so okay it's... they're not going anywhere very good no so you can use all of it all right so, so a second uh, so a second group let's activate the cavalry then mm-hmm Yeah, that's that's what we should do. I should, at a minimum, figure out what the dice fountain would be for LaSalle 2 at Leipzig and do that dice fountain. 
Velker, how big was the dice fountain you did that one time? I think it was 750. I think you did about, yeah, about 750 dice. <laughs> Good grief. The sounds dice fountain ridiculous. will run for half an hour. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a, it sounds the, a bit the ridiculous. The Monte Carlo dice fountain there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Achilles, you watched the, uh, you watched some of our LaSalle games, haven't you? I have. So, you know, you've seen it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, what was the, oh, where were we last? Shoot. Oh, at uh, Teugenhausen. And I think mm -hmm. it was something like 82 to 69. <laughs> yeah and the 69 kept winning yeah that yeah 69 actually won it's crazy i think it'd be great if they could all be like multicolored so <laughs> the, just multicolored dice coming out 82 of them don't give don't <laughs> give these talented people on tabletop simulator ideas it'll happen <laughs> Okay, that's all. All right, so that was two groups. Eight. Can they keep going? Austrians. That Schlitz is out once again. Oh. Yes, sir. They are, uh, what's their current Elan? I think they lost a little. Four. Yep. But the, now, they have attached artillery, which gives them five. They're close range. So that's volley range. The skirmishers don't help them. Skirmishers only help at between three and six inches, what we call volley range. This is close range. So they do get their full four dice plus attached artillery, five dice looking for sixes. Um, do, I, do I clear these dice? How do I clear these dice? Yeah, it'll dice? happen automatically. Oh, okay. Just select five and roll them. magical. <laughs> oh, no hits. not a one. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Um, these fellas, you boys are going back to the range. <laughs> <laughs> these boys in the rough, squirrels. those boys in the rough have a shot on those guns. It's 45 degrees off center. Um, you've actually, yeah, you've got a shot on them. Okay. So, uh, bah, 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 bah. they also are, no, that's also, but they have no bonus. Five dice, four sixes. Okay. And I have to I have to fire at the closest target. Correct. Right? Correct. And you and you said it's five, right? Mm-hmm. Not a one on that either. Yeah, not a sausage. Um, no, I'm I'm doing Delanor rules here. <laughs> oh man, how did you? <laughs> you know, I got to be famous for something, I guess. The uh, okay. <laughs> That's the shooting. There is no melee. Uh, so we proceed. You may bring on your next wave of those reinforcements. I think you got three more. Yeah, coming up. <laughs> You've been called a name dropper. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna watch the uh, the stream of this later, and and so I'm gonna know what those guys said about me. <laughs> that's well, that's true. <laughs> you're not wrong. No, you are not wrong. Okay, uh, done. All right, and we're on turn seven, are we not? Uh, we just did turn. <sighs> yeah, seven. we just yep. so uh, Grenier's division arrived south of San Michel. Grenier's core, I should say. That is here. Okay. On That's... they come. Oh. Again, Where see, again? Over here on the right. All the way to the right. Ah. Boy, oh, are you saying they're coming on now? Okay, my bad. Let's see here. And it's six inches again, so oh. what you just want to do is oh. mark it. Oh, yeah, I need, need to go here. 
put your nose right there. So with that, uh, that there. Do they have to be yeah. directly in line with that with the village, or that, can yes. they be? Yes, it's the same deal. The fort is right here. Okay. I I looked at a number of different tiles to use as a fort, and I didn't like any of them. <laughs> I judged them. I did. <laughs> Now you'll notice too that here you've got some voltageurs, which are always nice because they've got them skirmishers always. They're very nice. Okay, here we go. Grenier's boys are on. All right. Very, very good. And I do believe also because we are bouncing to turn eight that this is going to shut down one of the streams. Yeah. Uh, it shuts down so this one right here. Yep. The bridge over here at mm. Nerva, Nervesa. Yeah. So you're on a ferry. And again, remember, the only thing that does is if you cross there, it costs you your attached artillery. That's the big difference because you got to go across on a ferry. Yep. Um, so you're still moving at... Uh, that slow speed. Yeah, three that, three inches? Speed. Yeah, three inches for infantry, six for cavalry. Gotcha. Okay, so French, if you would please give the Austrians their turn for turn eight. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Austrians. Okay. We're going to go right. Well, look at that. There's a bonk. Some bonk. So in this situation here, do I need to? You need to pivot. One more, or is that just that one was the forty-five? Well, one there more. you go. Now your center's on him, and you can bonk him. Bonk. Cool. Okay. Any recovery needed for those that retreated? You can rally them later. Uh, they have to be outside uh, range. Six, six inches. Is it? Is it two base widths? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yep. You must be beyond. And they've only how much have they lost? Yeah, they've lost two. So you could get one back. They must, however, they they'd have to move back to get there. Okay. And a retrograde move can be that full three inches if you wish. They obviously can't do it this turn if they do that. But so that's the way it's they, done. It takes a little bit. They can move, but it's going to be another turn for them to get into their rally. Into the, yep. into the ra rally. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, we'll do that. Slow down there, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> all right we'll call it for that group now these the artillery without moving then they would have the ability to fire or are they um, out of range uh yeah no they're they're fine uh, the thing yeah the thing you're gonna have to watch out for is that these guys now are outside of range for being part of a group move they will be an individual move going forward because they are further, obviously further than one base width away. And one base, okay. Just a yeah, note getting for, just dispersed a note for, here. Note, note for note for future. Uh, yeah, you've got a clear shot there. You could you could indeed bombard him in that town. The town. That will do. All right. Okay. So and that, for so that's in terms of activations. That's one, two, three. Have to keep it going. Four. The artillery doesn't have to. Right. Uh, actually, though, to keep the chain going, you've got to spend it even if the guy doesn't move. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. But you still get another group. Go ahead. Okay. Revisit this. Business. Cadre up here. And we're going to move them in town. Actually, I need to... 
pivot them f- real quick. Though. Well, you yeah. can, you, since you're under three, you could pivot them after. Okay. You just move in there like that. Yeah, that's fine. I was watching the move, and you can give them a swing there. There you go. Just center them up. Okay. I can see what you're up to. Sneaky like that. <laughs> Those guys on the other side of the berm don't think you're sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. The They're like, <laughs> the smell of onion and garlic is right there. This is Italy, so I think it probably is everywhere. True. True. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, you, you know the Frenchman's packs are full of it. <laughs> oh, thank you. And what to do with... What to do with these guys? Start measuring this. Uh, is this this is Berman passable? No, no, it, 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 it it's be. not even you can you can charge right across it. The only problem is it blocks line of sight, so you'd have to get to the top of it to charge down it. Right. Okay. Uh, so and then there, given that this is a stream, is my three inches going to halt him? No, no, you got six. I do have six. Okay. Well, you, in that you, case. you as you as horsies. You want to stay on the other side? Because just so you know, that's canister. Right? Yep. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, just, just putting that out there. <laughs> Fair. Let's uh, not get them all. <clears throat> I'll turn into dog food right away. That's that's a Dalinar <laughs> move. Just ask anybody. <laughs> One of the prerequisites for uh, you know building your competency at this, right? <laughs> okay, uh, that would be. Four more for four more total of nine. The advanced brigade. Yeah. Total of nine. How about that? Can you keep going? Yes, he yes. can. Away you go. Oh. All right. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we don't have any Opochenia. <laughs> <laughs> I can get some. I got a lot. <laughs> well, let's see if I can get these guys in action. Uh that's forty five there. Mm-hmm. Or no, that's yeah. yeah, that was that was two. That was thirty. Okay. Okay. So uh, can I get one more then before mm-hmm. yeah. to, and move as well? Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna snug this guy up right though. There you go. Yep. I wanna, because this is what what they do is this. I don't know why they bumped into each other that way. There they go. This is echelon goodness. Uh. Uh, now, so this is their first move. They'd mm-hmm. be eligible for yeah. a reserve move. Yeah, absolutely. And that's going to be so straight line. I can pass mm-hmm. through this group. Yep. That's going to put them at well, basically up to the, the rough. Up to the rough. Mm-hmm. All right. These guys are going to have to hang back just a little bit because otherwise they're going to yep. overrun your uh, boys there. All right, well, that feels remarkably like progress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got another group? If you want to. Oh, and uh, Silver, okay. This is the first time you're going to move everybody. Yeah, it's be the only <laughs> time I move everybody, so... Uh, I figured let's... you might want to take advantage. Smoke Willie got him, Okay. And we're going to run into. Now you see me. It is it is a game on the computer. So I guess as far as that's true, it's a video game. It's a physics engine that allows you to. Uh, that allows you to play board games. Oh, OK. So just to track you back here, has is pointing out because uh, that's what he does. Um, this berm only affects artillery line of sight. 
So this chart, this cavalry could charge straight over it. Okay. And him having canister there, does he still get a reaction, or that you're saying they could well, charge over it fast enough? They, he could yeah, crash they, they can charge over it. Um, he is. This is where I get Sam's rules mixed into my head, because in LaSalle two, you get to evade. I don't think you get to here. Yeah, no, he's just gonna melee with his. Uh, he is just going to melee with his ammo as his dice. So they could go all the way? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> Chris <Yeah>. Berman. <laughs> Remember, Haz, you did this to him. This is your fault. <laughs> Again, <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Well, at least you gents decided to have a battle. I definitely respect you for that. Not much point if we don't fight. Right. Diplomacy simulator is a lot, a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think that cashes out the Austrians. All right, yeah, that is everything. And they got a lot to do here. So let's start with their uh, artillery. There is some. Now, even though you are in this range, this is the first time we're going to see this, you take a penalty because they are in the town. They are garrisoned mm -hmm. in the town. Um, you are usually going to fire four. Now I have to take off two of those dice. Uh, that's quite a penalty. All right. I have to take off one of those. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, it was what we do is we just take a look at the artillery modifiers over here at shooting firing in a unit that has cover however it is prepared mm -hmm. oddly enough that gives you a bonus what is a bonus mm -hmm. you're going to roll two dice you need sixes but if you get one five and only one five that also counts as a hit Okay. So two dice. Two dice. Ah, it added up to six. But there <laughs> it is. Musketry. Because I think that was your only gun, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, not musketry. Not musketry. Not musketry. Melee, which one do you want? Start over here. All right. So it shall be this one here. All right. Mm -hmm. First time they've got a disadvantage. You got six. They are in bad. They are in bad terrain. They did, oh no! I said that guy came off it. I apologize. He was he was not in the river anymore. But he's he's down to four. So six for the Austrians, four for the French. Looking for four, five, six. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh oh! <laughs> I didn't like the sound of that. Five to two. Net of three, that drops the, uh, that makes the French fatigued. You do still take one ding because you were in a melee. Because you lost the melee, French, you must turn around and go back six inches straight the way, directly opposite. Well, that's going to be fun. Okay, let's see. Um... Turning around. Rotate. Using the Q and E keys. There you go. Oh. Oops. Too far. And six there inches we go. straight the other way. All right. all right that happened good next to this one i guess both of you are in rough terrain we can see that so the mm -hmm. austrians have five and the french have four five to four oh austrians lose they remember boys 
Lock and load. Uh, they can kill us, but they can't eat us. <laughs> <laughs> Austrian, six inches back facing the right way. Only six. Yeah, there you go. That's funny. All right, so a lot of a lot of shove back. Better to be behind the cannon anyway. Now these guys do have the option because they won this melee. They have the option to advance one base depth if they wish. Yes. So uh, yeah. basically, mm -hmm. about up to that's, here. That's it. Exactly right. Well done. This is going to be a hoot. <laughs> Uh, you are being credited with a full-on either Velker or Leroy Jenkins move over here, so well done. Well, you only get one in your lifetime, so I'll, yeah, I'll that's, take it. That, there, there it is. Uh, seven. Ooh, look at that. What's he got? Seven to four. Seven to four. That's the calorie charge? Yes. So I'm at seven? You are. Three. Three to two is my count. Am I correct? Confirm me, please. That's correct. All right. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I see. Saw, I saw three to two. Very good. We take a look here. Artillery is unique. If doubled, it breaks. If it is outscored, the artillery retreats. So uh, it, uh, it loses. So it goes back. It faces the wrong way. And it goes back. It does. Those it faces those six inches. So it has to turn right completely around? Correct. Okay, well, I'm not doing this right, am I? You're not doing bad at all. I'm just, well, just showing that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there so. you go. And it's over this way. Uh, you're, yeah. You're moving away from him. Yeah. You're doing great. All right, and then he takes one. Like that. That's a nasty horsey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he also may advance a base depth if he wishes. And that costs him a uh, <coughs> costs him an ammo. All right. I think that's everything, right? We're good. That's fine. Okay. That's our gunnery, that's our musketry, and our melees. Terrific. Let's wind it to turn nine. Turn nine, please. And if the Austrians would give the French some mo dice. Mm hmm. Yeah. French. All right, Roger. Okay. So if I turn the artillery around, then, well, that's right. They, they and they shoot if they merely turn around. Let's just ask that. I know what the answer is for infantry. I got to find out what it is for artillery. Yeah. Has you want to jump me on that one? And actually, Chrono's out there too. We'll see who's faster. I love challenging them that way. If artillery just turns, can it shoot? Nope, can't shoot. Oh, well, unfortunate. Okay. That, that's, that's what I thought, but I wanted to see it. There's a real advantage right. to facing them, though. Yeah, I want to just, turn them around anyway. Yeah, because if you don't... So with the, with this, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, if you don't face them, you have to re-roll all hits. Okay, that's bad. And it occurs to me that uh, 
you, you could get away with doing a very little with your first activations. You're probably not going to exceed, and then you could go for something big. So if I activate the artillery alone and turn him around. The thing is, once you've started to do individuals, you can't go back to groups. Oh, is that correct? Yep. Okay. All right, let's think about this again. <laughs> He uh, and then the it's are you, what, are it's you thinking one base of, width, correct? Yep. He's so likely. He, he's, of, uh, he, it'd be. He's, he's likely out of range. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He is? Yep. He's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So are you thinking activate. of um, uh, in the activation? Can he turn that artillery around and say prepare that brigade? Yes. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm looking okay. for. Yeah, yeah that's so what let's I thought. do that. Let's do that then. Okay, so I will then. What? And let's see, do I just drag a prepared marker for this right. guy? Oh, look, magic. <laughs> ah, very good. And let's see, looks like he would be blocking... Well, he can't, remember, he can only turn 45 degrees and charge. He can't charge you from where he is. Oh, oh, okay. He doesn't need to prepare yet. Hmm. Yeah, but if, if, now, if I've got this right, Jim, if he's prepared, mm -hmm. he can he can shoot out any direction, just like he was no, in a square? No, he still shoots out the front, but he has no flanks. I see. Okay. He has no flanks. Okay. But you can't so, uh, turn to the flank and prepare or anything like that, can you? You can spin in place and prepare. Oh, let's do that then. He said, hope, <laughs> has fixed me if I'm <laughs> wrong. I'm almost sure of that. Like that. Then prep him. You might want to turn them just a little bit more because you want to hit center on that cow, right? Nope, you like can't. That. Sorry, you can't. It's, it's you're sorry about that. Yeah, turning is moving. Turning is moving. Yeah. Yep, you're stuck there. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> well, you might want to turn them anyway so that they will be able to empty some of those saddles. Oh, is it because firing's coming up? Yes. Yeah, but if, yeah. He, if he moves, he can't shoot. If you move, you can't shoot. But on this what? turn, him? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. You you have to be standing still. All right. No, they're not going to be there still. They're going to be no. Else. No, I have a funny hunch. Not. Yeah. No, they're probably going to. Are likely they're going to probably go straight for that artillery again. So, indeed. And we've got these people. Well, they haven't come yet. Yeah. Yeah. So but, I could. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say it'd be a lot harder for them to get up to you. First of all, they'd have they have to move and won't be able to shoot right away anyway. So. so what I and his do is... and his artillery can't fire at you because the burn the face blocks the light of sight. <laughs> So you yeah. don't want to go for the artillery. You have to. You're gonna to have to deal with us. Yeah, that's right. And of course, you got all these guys coming in from the. Yeah. Uh, all those reinforcements coming in as well. So. Correct. Correct. Let's see this guy here. Oh. I can only go three. Well, that's these guys now. <coughs> Have anybody? Three. Where is he? That's three over One. here for the advance guard. Who's next? Second group. Who's next? Yeah. 
this would be a these jokers on. Who do these guys belong to? These are all McDonald's, right? That's so, like, yeah, that's McDonald's. Yeah. So you so, need to bring them up with these guys. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so it's you know you've got you, yeah, yeah. You, you you know you've got enough because you got the reserve move. Yeah, you should be able to just conform him to the to the rest of the McDonald's. Seems, seems like he has greater ambitions. Ah, so it does. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> Form. Where are you going, Roger? <laughs> Form a second line, or all the way over here. Yep. Just make sure you're with, not within twelve inches ah. of that Austrian. Oh yeah, that's right. You are. Ah, you worried about my boys? <laughs> worried is a strong word. <laughs> ah, they'll stand, Wellington. They'll stand. They'll stand. <laughs> Good beans. Oh, <laughs> Keep not picking them up. There we go. If there's one thing in this world that I know absolutely <laughs> nothing about, it is agriculture. <laughs> I uh, raised them all myself. There's some of them could call me more than Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> I I did not know that Hurley he was Naya's son, the guy who played the uh, American Colonel in Sharp. Is that right? Yeah. Huh. His, his dad was Daniel Hurley. He he passed away yesterday. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, that's a, okay, that's so a, that's a that was six. Total of six. Oh. We... How are we doing? Uh, you're, and, go ahead. And that's math I can do in my head. That is out. You tell tell them what they had. You had three ones. Oh jeez. <laughs> so, that hurts. Ain't, ain't, you, ain't, ain't that you would have murdered some forces and Axis and allies, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, <laughs> that is not what we have on the table. Ain't, ain't that a hole in the boat? Um, that hurts. Yep. That's that's the game right there because you figure the because the Austrians by the way last turn had a twelve, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Well, so got the tails of the bell curve figured out. There, so. the, there you go. <laughs> you got your curtot excuse. Um, so it's uh, all right. So we didn't think that was going to make it in the conversation. Huh? Huh? There you, you know, go. Th that was not on my bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> Who had curtot excuse? Uh, <laughs> spectacular all right so i don't st i still don't think we got any french guns we got any french muskets we do this musket do. this musket well you tell me where you want to go but this musket just to be clear can shoot at that gun yes now we check range from center we go over there to the nearest yeah it's that is over so it's going to be at that half they have skirt now here we have it they currently have four alon they are halved because they're over their close range. But they have skirmishers, which gives them a bonus. So two with a bonus, two dice for sixes, but one five would count. Okay. Oh, good Lord. Nothing there. Your musketry <laughs> has uh, not been adequate. Is that oh, what it? man. They are All facing. those foul muskets. Foul barrels, <laughs> left and right. It's the glint off the cannon, it's it blinding you. That's, you know, they had to cross both those streams, so, you know. It's, oh, that's powder's <laughs> bad. Yeah, powder's that's not dry. Uh, any other musketry? I think that's it. I don't think anybody else has a shot. How close? Yeah, they can't fire out. So, yeah, that's it. And they're facing the wrong way. Yeah. So, okay, that's it. Uh, reinforcements were there. Yeah, there was folks left over here. Ooh, but that bus is still backed up. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll check it out next time, I guess. Let's uh, roll it on. Then let me just double check and see if anything has changed in the story, as it were. Just keeping track of the scenario. Yeah, this is turn ten. So the San Nicol, uh now has flooded. Oh, yep. great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We 
which means you're <laughs> not going to be able to use that special move there, unfortunately. Um, oh. you're, you're not going to be able to reserve move because you can't use it with a ferry boat. What you can do, because the fair, it's still open notionally, is you can, if you wanted to, swing them this way. Ah. Uh. Over to Priulia. Although, let it be observed, you're going to lose Priulia on 14. Um, and finally... Wait. What? Go ahead. So it, really, so it really is, it floods all the way down San Michel, Michel and then Priulia? Yep. Mm-hmm. I think so the bridge the was two, stronger yeah, there. Yeah, that's the point. It, the bridge is better. Ah, the bridge is okay. Better. Okay. Yeah, that's that. That is what I took it to be in any event. Yeah, because uh, the because uh, the uh, Saint Michel is uh, is actually just a ford, so it's there's no actual bridge there. So the water rises to a certain height; they can't cross. Okay, so now if they, you, you said we lose that ford, that means they cannot cross at all there, is that they correct? They can, they can, but what they will do... But they lose the attached... They lose their attached artillery. artillery. Who's got it, if anybody? They do. They do. Yeah, there's yeah. there's only one brigade that will, but let's face it, it's turn 10. Those guys are not going to get to Priola and across... Uh, and across before turn 14 do you think roger they'll All get they there do... they'll get there in one turn yeah, oh yeah okay do, never mind do never mind move. yeah 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 never mind yeah you're right okay so good do it so but in any event uh so we yeah. spin forward to turn this is now turn 10 which is an austrian turn so can we give the austrian to oh, the austrians to oh, what about place? Sorry. Oh, what about the uh, the second brigade, or rather, this division of? Uh, you you can bring them on now before. because now you yeah. obviously have a different plan. You can bring them on to the left and the right of this spot. This is this is fine. You can bring them anywhere on. They just come on six inches onto the board. Okay, so I could do something along the lines of this, and then have the entire or yep. uh, do their deployment move. Yep, exactly. All right, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long time before everybody gets across. So I think doesn't. Yeah, you. You better kick them in the butt, Roger. Hurry them up, because my boys are are hanging by their fingernails. <laughs> bad day, bad day. <laughs> uh, and we need uh, two dice for the Austrians, please. Uh, and there it is. You have a number. Okay. Now th this group is detached now, so is, is he sure. his own? He would have to go on individual activation. Individual activation. So you're going to want to do groups first. Yep. Okay. So uh, start with the group over here, mm -hmm. and these guys need to rally. That's individual. Rallies are individual. Rallies are individual? Mm -hmm. And they so cost, because they're, not... they're individual, they cost two. You always cost two, and you got to check after each one. Oh, it's so a it's, roll? Yeah. It's a die roll at the end of this. It's, it, you, you should get to the, I mean, it's a balancing act, but you're going to want to get to the rallies after you do your, your group moves. Okay. All right, uh, and this cavalry is now individual as well. Are they far enough out, or would they be with their original group? Let's see here. Those fellows that are in town, that's an individual move too. Wait, where's the AG? Where's the rest of it? Oh, it's over the this river. This was the original yeah, the nearest advanced guard here. here. And there's this guy. Yeah, there are, he's going to be out of range of everybody. So he would, if you want to garrison, that's an individual move for him too. All right, well, the first first group then. Let's get this cavalry. You're going to you're going to probably want to You're going to need to move them individually, I think. Individually. Okay. Yeah. That's a jump. 
and they got six inches. Because you're going to have problems clearing those guns, is, is why. Yeah. Uh, so they're not going to be able to go through, or just... Nope. Uh, nope. Not going to get there. So they're going to go right behind. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a trot. And... <laughs> Turn them one that more time. What? Yeah, which no. one? Oh, yeah. It's just turn them once because they couldn't. Just turn them. Yep, there they go. Yeah. They had that in them. They don't. Nope. You can sneak them behind in here, I think. But you might want to turn them one more time, too. That's up to you, then. I meant the other oh, way. Over. That way? Other way? No, I am. <laughs> Starboard. There you go. Okay, that would be the first group. One, two, three, four. Second group. Uh, okay, so everybody here is basically individual now, except those two Maybe guys. These two. Well, th yeah, right. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're rallying here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I'm doing a second group, investigate these. Five, uh, six, seven, yep. eight, nine, ten, by my count. Six and four is ten. What do you think, French? Can you keep going? No. I uh, no. You're all done. And that's it. All right. Uh, gunfire, cannon fire. Yeah, you got some. Do you want to take it? Because it's depleting your ammo every time. Yes, I'll take it. Two dice with a bonus. Oh, uh, question. What's he firing at? Is he? He's fire. He's firing bo at... He's bombarding the town. The town. Ah, okay. Two dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy! Oof. Wow. God, God bless you, sir. <laughs> I think that shot backwards. Yeah, or something. <laughs> uh, these guys have a shot, I think. Yeah. Yep. Sure do. Uh, that's attached artillery, which is always nice. Six, three mm -hmm. dice, no bonus. Three dice. Ooh, one better. Hit. And that kills him. That's all he had left. Ouch. That's actually a French loss to their morale. Mm. I never liked those guys anyway. <laughs> they were profoundly disloyal, say I. That's, yeah, that's right. They always ran. They always ran. <laughs> that was the penal brigade. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, no shooting. That's it. All right. So if the... Uh, let's shift it forward to turn 11. Making sure I'm keeping up here. And if the uh, Austrians would give the French their turn, please. Okay. Away you go. French, please. Okay. Um, hey, Roger. Yeah. You want to... You want to let me go ahead and take McDonald over here now that he's over on my side of the field? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I thought I might take a little of the burden off for you, then, since yeah. you seem to have 90% of the French army. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you need to go first? Oh, well, let's see. I don't know if I need to go first, because uh, I think what we need to do is get this entire core across this uh, board at uh, that yeah, Priula. Priula. Yeah, you might want to then move those uh, that core do their reserve move first. That way we make okay. sure we have enough uh, mo for it. 
Okay. Well, that's going to be a lot of guys. <laughs> so the reserve, okay. The reserve move could be over the bridge, yes? Yes, no? but now he's got this guy sitting right here. The, the chat is screaming at me. He's got this guy uh, sitting right here watching you. So yeah. you're going to stop there. Oh, fiddle dee dee. Okay. Bring him up. Bring him up on the run. Double quick. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, yeah, there you go. Oh, wait. Okay, so yeah, that would be 30 inches right there. Mm -hmm. I, guess, I guess I could just get, just get over the river. Yeah, it's almost exactly just over the river. All right, so. So these other jokers are going to be following up like that. Would they be on the road or no? They could do that. Sure. Okay. The other guys are just waiting their turn. The world's greatest conga line. <laughs> yeah. Right now there's an MP at that traffic control point who's pulling his hair out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it was, you know, think of how much worse it was at Aspirin Esling. <laughs> General Taton. <laughs> <laughs> when you got the lunatic Austrians floating burning windmills down the Danube. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's that chord. Counts at one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. E. And so we go over to the other group. Okay. Man, I hate to use this to to move McDonald before we move Groshi. Because we're probably not going to get to, but... All right. So uh, we're moving McDonald's core. And we're going to go straight ahead. Now, <clears throat> they're, they're formatted, so they just go six, right? Uh, who's this now? Sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They won't because no, go, uh, they've got th these, you know, th they don't care about this, go but this rough, they only go three. Right. So this wing of them can only go three, but the rest of them could go six. They could. Just got to keep them in that one base with range to make sure you right. maintain formation. Okay. So if I just, I'm just going to move them all up three then. Okay. I'll see if I can do this right. There we go. <laughs> All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Eleven is to the total. How about that? The, how, how does that feel, Austrians? That will be it. All right. Kind of what I figured. Oh, that's average. Yeah, yeah, good point. All right, gunfire from the French. None. I don't see any. Oh, uh, yeah. oh yes. yeah. Yeah, they do. We do. <laughs> yeah, they do. We We do. All right, you want to lead them off, Roger? Here comes some revenge. Yeah, that's that that, right. that horse is gonna reg that horse is sitting there going, <laughs> why exactly didn't I get? Uh... So how many dice are we getting here? Yeah, that's that's the thing. You're gonna get double dice, uh, I think. Yeah, that's double dice for canister. Um, eight dice for five or s four as for eight mm. dice for sixes. Oh yeah, that's a nice fountain there. Oh, nice roll. Blam. Ooh. Nice oh, wow. roll. <laughs> Good shooting. It is. Might be some horseshoes left. 
There's oh, a, man. A, a fine red mist. Um, <laughs> all right, where there once were some horses. Okay, so that was the gunnery. Musketry? Get anybody close? Um, dude here? Yeah. This dude, center. Yep. Horses. Can't shoot them, but he can shoot them. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Skirmish don't count, unfortunately. That's long. Uh, four, it, four dice for sixes. Four dice, huh? So why doesn't the skirmish doesn't work count? against horses? Ah, Is, yeah, that isn't makes, there? That makes, sense. that makes sense. Nothing. Ah. Uh. Okay, it didn't matter in this case, but is there, what is it, is there something special also about uh, infantry shooting horse in Blucher, or is that one of the other ones? Something about the, they're not as effective or, or something? Yeah, well, Maybe the skirmish, as I say, the, yeah, well, the, it would have all, if you come over here, if, if, you are, if you are firing at artillery or cavalry, you take a penalty. What is a penalty? Ah. That halves your that halves your strength. That's irrelevant to the present circumstance because you were already paying that half penalty. You don't pay it again. Okay, got it. All right. I yes. knew there was something. Yes. I just couldn't remember what it was. Your memory is <laughs> correct. All right. So okay. Another shot. Anybody else got a shot? How about these guys? Yes. Yes. Uh, I've I've got a shot at the artillery the guns, again. Yeah. And apparently that doesn't. Skirmishers work on guns, do they? Do they? Let's find out. Only infantry. All, All right. right. You got to check that chart. Uh, what you got there? Four. What's our range? So it's gonna be two. Two, no bonus. All right. Not much of a shot, but who knows? Hey, there you Look go. At that. That's free. I like that. <clears throat> And who else did I think? Not them. Yeah, that's it. And you certainly didn't start any melees, did you? No. No. <laughs> All right. And this is turn 11. Holy cow, the chat blew up. What do I do now? Oh, I just moved us to 12 for some Ah, uh, God almighty. Yeah, 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 I see you guys. All right, take it back. Jim did wrong. Jim admits it. It's a bonus. It's only four dice. Sorry. I got to have you re-roll against the horses. Okay. It's LaSalle that has the double. Ah. Uh. <sighs> only oh, one that's hit. <laughs> Sorry, only one hit. Sorry. So you got to give you two back. Back to five. We'll take yeah, it's take something. It. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, chat. <laughs> yeah, thanks, chat. <laughs> thanks, chat. <laughs> yeah, sounds like the players are going to go over there and beat chat on the head with a hammer. Um, all right, so we did that. We did this. Oh, yes, what I was doing when I was so uh, correctly interrupted was heading over here to check out the scenario just to make sure that nothing. We didn't lose any more bridges or anything. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, the next bridge is Priule, which is turn 14. I was actually more interested in your reinforcements. The next one shows up uh, on turn 15, so we're fine. Okay. Is that the um, second brigade reserve? Of, oh, no, that's the dead one. Never mind. Yeah, that's, that's a corpse. I'm going to put that corpse in there. <laughs> and the that's, Italians that's, don't come in until yeah, 21, yeah, they're right? they're the very last one. I, gotta, I don't know why they're not statted out. I don't know how they got to raise. But, yeah, it's only uh, the next one will be... There, Right there. Ah, okay. All right. So that takes us to turn 12. And I need uh, two dice for the Austrians. Okay. Austrians. Hey. Well, we'll continue with this group. And so if they're crossing a bunch of 
barriers here. We're talking what it's, six? It's, it's still, as long as you're meleeing, it's fine. You just go. Okay. The only thing they can't cross is trees. We don't got no trees. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Yeah, okay. If you're going to cross that, you can't. Yeah, okay. Uh, get him back and maneuver. Uh, he's still within the group, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Be right back. A little excited there. Six. Uh, I'll get him back. All right, top of berm. Excited there. I, 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 I do not need an electric shock attached to chat. That is the last thing I want. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, has I'm surprised you didn't crash Discord. You know where the server is. Well, you know what? Here, let's. You too far up? No, he's fine. Uh, come on. Okay, so that's the group of four there. Mm -hmm. that's the first group. one. Get another group. Uh, he's going to be his own group, right? Yep. I think on general principle. <laughs> I got to let him go. After that canister shot? Yeah, I think Yeah, so. yeah, that's... Uh, certain right, laws so that's of the a universe totalist, there. Because uh, that's that's individual, so that's six. Uh, French. No individuals count oh. as two. Yep. Yep. French. Six. Yep. Six. Mm -hmm. You're done. You're done. Yep. Done. All right. Well, it's the laws of the universe. You know, he had to charge. Yeah. That's this things as you say. Certain things just had to happen. Uh, you got no gunfire that I can see. Do you have a shot over here? Oh yeah, you do. You got your bombard going on. If you want to continue it. Yeah, if they can actually hit anything. That's the real question. <laughs> One die with a bonus. Oh, right. No. <laughs> that that gun, oh. I, I have no idea what they thought they were doing. <sighs> I don't I, know if he's rolled anything other than ones, but... I, I really don't think he has. Hand. I think you're right about that. <laughs> um... I no, told him not to put the training ammunition in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Austrian musketry. I don't see any. I don't see any. I don't see any. Uh, uh, nope. Okay. That takes us to a melee. There are two. Which one do you want? Well, let's let's start over here. With that one let's see right what there. they can do. Yep. Yeah. All right. You're coming at him with five. He's coming back at you with three. Five to three. Ooh, he hits all three. You hit all three. Ties go to the defender. Oh. Bravely done, Gunners. <laughs> so once again, you bounce back six inches facing the right way. You can snug into this little pocket over here. All right. I know from playing LaSalle that uh, artillerymen are tougher six. than they look. Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sam. Sam has... Here's the thing. Sam has views on this stuff. And he's not afraid to stalk him. I don't think he had to go back that far. Yeah, you're only a little, a little up there. I'm going to scoot you that way. Now, what was I doing? Now, this, unfortunately, is much worse for the uh, Frenchman. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Because, I, because, I because, because, because. That's, that that's going to be... Set. Now, Mixed Brigade... That's actually going to help a little bit because uh, having that mixed brigade in there, I do believe. Yeah, he's mixed. Not so. Yeah, hang on a second. Here it is. Plus one. Plus one. It also negates enemy skirmishers, which is kind of cool. 
Uh, but anyway, that's not what's happening here because there ain't a skirmish going on. So you do get to roll eight. That's nice. Um, yeah, that's it. And then over here, so it's seven to eight, which you say, well, that's great. Only problem, the in, the infantry has to re-roll all hits. <laughs> eh, no problem. <laughs> so seven, uh -huh. for, seven for the Austrians, eight for the French. Is that four to two? It yeah. is. So, well, if I've the... got four hits, but I have to re-roll the four hits. Correct. Okay, so I'll just roll four then. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And he pulls the two back. Look at that. There you go. Nicely done, sir. That that That's impressive. Let me do this real quick. Yeah, yeah really. So that bounces. So once again, six, in I, six inches back. Lucky and I deserved I'm in there. Yep. Can you scooch him a little over that way? Just get him off the other bases is all. Kind of spot. Pivot him. There you go. Look at that. That was bravely done. <laughs> that was that was a thing. Any other melees? None. I thought that cannon was toast. I really did. <laughs> so did I. I was like, Yeah, so did I. What the blue heck? Um get a photograph of this real quick and we'll continue nailed it uh that's it french do you have any reserves that are coming on no you're still waiting so yeah you won't get those till 15 very good that takes us to turn 14 which means this fort is gone oh great I, oh no, we're at, no we're on the uh odd number turns Oh, yeah, we should be. That's right. That really was 13. Yeah, but that takes us to 14. Oh, that's right. That was an Austrian turn. No, no, no. What am I saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're at 13. So that's it should right. be 13. 13. Last turn for that nonsense. Sorry about that. Sorry to okay. give Thank God on. for that. we got to get those guys across the yeah, river. Yeah, boys, boys, move quickly. <laughs> I think I see a wall of water coming this way. Now they only go six, right? Correct. Right, well, so these... actually, these boys, uh, yeah, six. Six if they're, uh... well, here's the thing. These guys here are going to go six. Yeah. These guys here are going to go three. Because they st even at a four, it is still considered rough terrain. Oh, it is? Yep. The only advantage well, is everybody that gets in the river doesn't, it gets cross. to finish their cross. All right. Okay. So, so get as many of them's feet wet as you can. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So that being the case. Here, you need me to roll? Oh. Yes, we do. I got that. Oh, yeah, if you haven't rolled yet. Yes. <laughs> uh, given the accuracy of the Austrian artillery barrage that's been dropped down <laughs> onto, uh, what's the name of this town? Is it Barco? The, uh, the the next village, according to Google Maps, is Pravistomini. And uh, Ian Jackson is pointing out that they're wondering why they're getting bombarded. <laughs> At least it's the right direction on line of sight. I'm not so even sure they're just, doing that well. They're just in the water here. All right. As you said, they're feet they, wet. And this guy, he's just going to set up. Now, uh, in in future, they the rest of them will be able to cross though by ferry, right? Yes. They the only problem is they lose their attached. They'll lose their attached yep. Well, okay. better to have them over there though. Yep. Oh heavens! Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> okay, so that's all right. So that's these jokers. One. Uh, so how many do you count six, there? One, six of them. Six. You got one more group. Uh, let's see, you might want to put these guys into, uh, prepared. Yeah, they got a horde of cavalry coming. Okay, so prepare these two, please. Where'd all my 
nice markers go? Down here by my name is one. Oh. Okay, there's one. Yeah. Oh, this one here. Sorry. Voltigers. All right. And uh, that's eight for the uh, advanced guard. Yep. All right. How about eight? What do you think, Austrian? That will do. Oh, shot. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's been he's been stepping on you. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. It's absolutely killing me. I haven't been able to do anything over here. Yeah. French, <clears throat> French guns. You got this one right here with two shots left. Do you want it? Oh, yeah. Two dice for sixes. What were those fancy uh, ones? What were looking those fancy? at... Uh, uh, them fancy horses. Oh, I was, I have a choice. Let's see. Uh, you can you can shoot it. You uh, you're outside of canister range, so if you wanted to, you oh, can shoot I, here. Uh, oh, I am. Yep. Okay. All yeah, right. six inches is canister. Yeah. So let's see. This advanced guard brigade is down to three. It's seven. Oh, pick on the weaklings, I guess. Right. Two Good dice for six. Choice. Okay, coming right up. Two dice. Oh, nice. Like that. <laughs> Man. I didn't like that any. Like they got a vendetta. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, you did charge him, let's be clear. Yeah, well, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's let the observation be made. Uh, <laughs> now, these boys over here. Um, they, ah yes, they got a shot over there. They get uh, well, they're they're prepared, right? Doesn't so... matter. They can shoot. And oh, that's, um... yeah, preparing. Oh, oh, that's right. the yeah, defensive pre stance, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, preparing yeah, does not happened. negate. It doesn't count as moving. For some reason, I was I was thinking of them being in a village. Nope. <laughs> yeah, no, they're they're not. They, they wish they were, but they're not. Um, they're actually inside. <laughs> yeah, they're actually really. inside volley range. So this is seven dice. Seven dice. Seven dice for sixes. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is this is a tasty unit. Oops. So being prepared though doesn't doesn't impact your musketry fire. No, though. it doesn't. And I hate to do this to you because you just <laughs> rolled what you rolled, but you were firing. Damn it, me! Firing at cavalry is a penalty. Four dice. Firing at cavalry is a penalty, so it's four dice for six. Came up with one. See, I beat you in the. I beat the chat on that one. <laughs> That's because they're on a delay. Yeah, well, that. Oh man, cold, <laughs> cold blooded. Um. All right, other shots. Yep, over here. Yeah. Unfortunately. All right. And I do believe. Yeah, two dice, sixes. Oops. Oh, nothing. Feckless fire. Any other? Shooters? Somebody gave somebody gave me the worst shots in the entire French army over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, these are after all. These aren't the. This ain't third corps, so. That's true. Where is Davu when you need him? Yeah, do home. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's it. That is it. That takes us to turn 14. Now the river floods. Uh, da, 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 da. Turn 14. And if the uh, French would give the Austrians some momentum, please. All right. Okay. 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 <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna keep the momentum where I got it. You call this momentum. <laughs> Get all the way. Oh no, it's we can I can do the full right? I didn't have any other Yeah, yeah, for cavalry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Sure, sure you want to do that? These guys are in different groups. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got this guy. Here. Yeah. Ask yourself, yeah. do you feel lucky? <laughs> <laughs> we saw what happened to the last guy. Uh, is there anything that can be done there? Yeah. Bowman. But he's not in contact with anyone. He's just right. just riding hard. Mm -hmm. Contact, contact. Uh, and then these guys here. Let's see. Or is that is that yeah, legal there? You're going to have that same problem. Yeah. You got to come. You're going to have to come up out past that town. Come to up out that. past. All right. Well. And then you can turn it right there if you wanted to. Set it up for next time. If that's yeah, and and yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. You know, Roger, it occurs to me that one thing we have forgotten about is Eugene here over here. Oh right, right. I could plug him. We could plug him in and uh, have, yeah. and yeah, move yeah, I move a lot more guys. Yep, it's the last. All right, it, well, it's the last thing you do. Yes, yeah, the last thing you're going to wind up doing. So that that so after you run out of momentum, you do that, huh? It's uh, it's so funny. It's never. It so rarely comes up. It's going to require me to look for it. Well, if we can make you look in the rules, Jim, we have succeeded. Yeah, there it is. That is the rule. <laughs> now, once he gets planted on the table, does he just stay there? He stays there for that activation. Activation. Oh, okay. So we can we can use this guy every turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, oh. let's see here. Yeah, he's got a transporter. He just moves wherever he wants. And we're definitely fighting with one hand tied behind our backs. We are, and I can't believe we forgot about him. Yeah. Yeah. This is where my advanced guard is not being so advanced. Holding up progress. <laughs> Just checking this. Advanced guard yeah. converts to rear guard. So yeah. has that's right. Basic. Can they do that if they're out of mo? Is it an extra? It's strangely not clear to me reading it so has you want to give me a shout on that please because it says you have not you can do it by command using a cnc marker you place it yeah and so here how does it work you place your cnc anywhere except in a major river <laughs> and not within th and not within three inches of any enemy uh it may be even placed on top of friendly units if needed all eligible friendly units within six inches may be activated together as a force, regardless of their type, distance from each other, or core. The marker remains in that spot through the movement of the units. It does not move. Uh, friendly units may move through it. It's, it. He's not really there. Activating force by command ends your movement phase. So is this an extra has, or does this get built into what they have left? Yeah, it's not an extra, guys. So how does it work? Then? So the theory, the theory is, let's say you think you're getting close to done. Mm -hmm. Okay. You think you've, you've almost spent your mo. You slap him down. Let's pick a spot here. All right. And you get to activate everybody within six inches. Now that's not as big a deal because these guys are one core. It's a bigger mm -hmm. deal if you slap him down in the middle of a bunch of, of a, uh, polyglot force i see yeah so it's not it's you haven't missed anything to be honest okay yeah you've not missed so, so really his value is a, a multi-core force or or if you think that yeah it would be a multi-core force yeah it'd be the multi a multi-core force yeah i would say and the fact that uh yeah I'll just leave it at that. So who is moving uh, here? All right. 
both group two first two groups for Austrians have moved. All right, and that was a total of. Uh, that assumes I counted. Let's see, you got four for the horses. Yep. And we had one, two, three, four, five, six. So we had ten total. Ten total. How's that, French? They can keep going. Uh oh. Ooh. Back to the tail. Hmm. So these guys to rally it would be two each. Two two each. So mm. we could do we would do both of them and then check and see whether your turn was over. Okay, let's do that. Alright, the first one you need a uh, three to, so which one do you want to do first? I'll do this one. Uh you wanna you get an Elan back if you roll a three to six. Uh just on one? One night. And wouldn't you Three. know that I'm now having to doubt myself because there's <laughs> a very similar rule in LaSalle, too. Is it a three or is it a... Yep, it's a three. Hooray. That was right. So you get one of those Alon back. Okay. And now the other one. Get that one back. Three. Too. And again, you can't get your highest one back, so... So bearing in mind that that is, you had a total of 10, and then you just did four more. You have 14. You can't possibly have that many moves. We know you're done. Unless there's really loaded dice. Involved. Yeah, right, unless unless I did something for Probably you. Probably not, yeah. Last shot All from right. your guns. See if you can do it this time. Yeah. One die for a, for a five or a six. Nope. Not a hit. I'm hoping it was a one just to... Keep just some a, yeah, really kind of wrap it up, sure. Yeah. All right, so uh, this fella. Ooh, that seems to be in range. Yep. Um, that is two dice, no bonus. Nothing. Mm. Anybody else shooting? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're just in our charges now over here. fighting. Where do you want to fight? Well, I'm on the edge of my seat to see what happens here with the... Uh, sure. <laughs> the <laughs> artillery for all time. That's a, a seven to a two. Good lord. <laughs> Got one. Easy double. Kills him. Right. Finally, some laws in the universe work. Yeah. And, <laughs> and uh... Okay, and then we have you, the prepared... You, you, you do get that advance oh, yeah. if you wish it. Drops uh, the Austrian morale to... Uh, or, sorry, the French it. morale to seven. Okay. Now we have the prepared group. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Who'd you send at him? You're charging over the berm, which is going to cost you it's one, hard. unfortunately. So that's four. Dragoons. And he's a six, which is a seven. So it's four to seven, but Ooh. the seven re-rolls all hits. Uh, four. Okay, one, one, one more time. Why do I re-roll all, all hits? Oh, you're prepared. I'm sorry. You are prepared. Yeah. You don't. Four to seven. Yeah. All right. So Austrians are at four. Yep. Four to two, if I'm reading it right. Right, but doesn't his cavalry have to re-roll his hits? Since they're charging a prepared unit? You know, you might have to. Yep. Roll your hits. Well, it doesn't matter, because he can't lose worse. That's why. That's true. Care. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he, there he, you go. <laughs> he, he, that's, I knew there was something there. He can't lose worse than that. So he takes his two, has to bounce six inches the wrong way. It's just a matter of principle. I understand. <laughs> he can't lose worse than he lost. How's that? I like it. That was it? Yeah. Force them in the square and here we go. All right. Very good. 
Uh, there are no Austrian reinforcements. Um, yeah, that's it. So we head to turn 15. Turn 15. If the uh, Austrians would give the French some mo dice, please. Okay. French. All right, Roger. You want to... Yeah, I was just thinking the exact same thing. Yeah. We're, we're on the same page. We Bring those cavalry right, down on his. <laughs> very good. It's about time. <laughs> those horses have been wondering why they've not gotten any orders. Well, because they're under Grushy. <laughs> <laughs> to, well, to, well, would you believe that the chat now reads, Grushy needs to pull his finger out and march to the sound of the guns. <laughs> exactly. Grazing is a legitimate maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> Just characteristic of him to hang out over there. That's right. Six years in advance. Where is Grushi? <laughs> That's almost hysterically funny. Considering he's sitting on what, 4,000 horse? Yeah, exactly. Eating strawberries or something. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the story goes. Okay, that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Get another group. All right. Let's see. Let's get McDonald up. Yeah, let, let's be honest. He's not exactly been doing much either. So. No, he hasn't. <laughs> Although, McDonald's is going to... What do you think, Roger? McDonald's is going to cost us five. Is there anything critical that you need to do over here? There's five. Well, so this, I mean, that's this, this that's going to put us at that's going to put us at ten. So and you, he, considering he how might, it's been going, you might get charged. You might get charged. So what if I activated only this? Oh, that's right. If I activate the group, oh, he might be out of range. Yeah, he's out of range. So how would this work if I just activated him? Would count as uh, all these guys without? Uh, well, if you activate, use the moat. Yeah, if you if activate, you activate him, him, you've you've switched over to singles. Right. Okay, and then what? We don't want to do that yet. Yeah, you want to bring this guy up first. Is the bottom line? Yeah. So yeah, bring those guys up. McDonald may may have to wait one more time. He's a, he's in such a beautiful formation. I hate to mess them up. <laughs> Although it is beginning to look a little bit like McClellan at Antietam.
Roger. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to move these guys up. Oh. oh okay. I no, I thought you were going to move up. Uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. No, we'll, we'll, we'll let McDonald wait one more turn if we have to. This okay, is you're gonna let think, you do realize this is more... how disasters happen, guys. Yeah. I think it's more yes. important that we shore up the center here. Okay, so that being the case, probably want to put him on uh, prepared. Well, move those guys first, though. But oh, that's that's true. So let's see. Here we go. They can only go three. That's uh, terrible. <laughs> more time all right he loses his artillery and he's going to prepare himself. What's Who's that? I'm sorry. This this fellow here. That dude is. He's an independent act. He's a separate activation. You've oh, got to count. Okay. Yeah, you've got to count these three. And if you want to line okay. these guys up, you can. You can put them behind him. Yeah. All right. So let's do that. And snug him up. Forever to get them across. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How about ten, nice Austrian people? Still going. All right. Hey. Oh, All moves. right. You're doing better. At least average. <laughs> uh, question, Jim. Mm -hmm. If if he does an individual activation to prepare that brigade, yes. Uh, does that mean that I'm not going to be able to do any core activations if we still have Mo. No, it's each player, each of the okay. two of you. If one of you switches, you're stuck, but the other one is where they are. All right, got it. Okay, then go ahead and prepare those guys. Okay, so we can uh, activate uh, McDonald's core and him. Yep. Okay, very good. So that's twelve, but uh, we're not checking that yet because we still got to do McDonald's core. All right. Yep. All right, here we go, McDonald. Crawl on up towards the battle. <laughs> All right. Ah. Messed up. All right. Do that again. Waiting for old McDonald to buy the farm. Ian. <laughs> that just sounded so. Ian right there. <laughs> Ian, Ian, O. There we go. Oh. Dang it. Oh, I messed up again. Sorry, man. All right. There we go. Oops. And that little piece of rough ground right there is messing me up bad. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, f five, right? Six, sorry, six. Six, sir. That'll do. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> Just squeezing it in. Yeah. All right. We get it there. So that's uh I, I was I was away from the count for just a second. But did all of McDonald move, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six? 
Yes. Yep. All right, so six plus another two, that'd be 18. How about that? I think that'd be it, huh? It squeezes it uh, in, yep. Yeah, we can't, yeah. we can't go any higher than that. I was going to say, not without <laughs> the magic dice. All right, uh, no. French gunnery. The one gun, I think, is dead. Yep. Yes, it is. The French artillery is dead, so that has have done the musketry. I have the uh, the squares there. Yep. Yep. Well, where do you want to go? You tell me. And the squares fire now? Absolutely. All right. Go ahead, Roger. Okay. How about the... Uh, Going to shoot them right there? Here yeah. to here. That's right, pretty so. much uh, close range is what that is. Uh, so eight. Eight dice Tough. for... Uh, Eight dice for sixes. All right, no, you're firing it at horses. At, for... at horses, yes. Oh, for, and you only have a current yeah. alon of five, so it's six, so it's three. And you don't get a flank shot on them, huh? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's one of the things that just ain't there. That's a hit, uh, though. I get, I get one hit. After all the fussing around. <laughs> yeah. I'm just double-checking myself, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Still, that's a hit. A very palpable hit. Uh, and he didn't have one before. All right. Um, this guy here. We have this this fellow here. He's going to shoot up there. So he shoots the hussars. Yeah. yeah. Seven. And it, well, four. Be four. Four dice for six. Good. Nothing. Hmm. All them fellers moved. We over here. I think that we said that was in range. Is it? Nope. Yeah, we sh we that that we shot. heard last time. Oh, right, these are that was a different shot. Yeah, yeah, that was a different shot. Okay. Now this brigade here that that prepared this turn, they can't fire this turn, right? Yes, they can. Where are they? Oh, um, this one, the second brigade. Got it. Yeah. Oh, he's I don't know what they're gonna shoot at though. Are they in yeah, range for the Hussars? Or is there an arc problem? Yeah, it's oh, the arc, it's the arc I'm checking. Oh. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. All right. That was a thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you check what's free. <laughs> All right. I so I still have I still have my guys over here though. First Brigade Reserve over here. Yep. Two. With a bonus. Hey. Okay. Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> they haven't gotten any better at shooting. <laughs> yeah, this this whole area really is a bunch of people yeah. with red and white canes. This is <laughs> a depression of marksmanship over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all she wrote, and there were no melees that I saw. So that, however, is turn fifteen, and if memory serves, that's reinforcement time. Yep. Lillier, Dillier's corps arrives south of Priulia. So oh, that's right. oh, right here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So you right know, into that. They're just sort of held in abeyance, I guess. I guess they are, yeah. Yeah, because that's the only way they're getting across that river. What you could do, of course, is do another counter march, set shooting them all the way over here. If you wanted to put them there, it's up to you. But so they they can come on. The point is, they could come on here. Okay, actually, I think that sounds like a reasonable idea at this point. Yeah, they're yeah, really. Okay, so who are we talking uh, about here? This uh, Julian? Just everybody but this dude. Everybody but that dude. Yeah, that dude doesn't have a label. Yeah, I gotta. I don't know how he got deleted, but he did. I I got it right here, so I can get to fix okay. it. Okay, should probably bring him in one at a time, then, huh? Yeah, set him up how you like. Oh. I, have to sh I have to show a distressing amount of what's behind the curtain. <laughs> How I, you know, it's just super secret stuff, you know. Okay, so they can come in from this at 
three inches or six? Six. They come in six. Okay. All right. Um, let's see if I can do this right. But only if they're going straight, right? Right. Like they got. They go straight ahead. Right. Okay. And they got to make six inches, which I know they can. I just oh. checked. I know they can do. Okay. You might want to stay on the uh, this side of the river. They oh yeah. <laughs> do their they do their deployment. Yeah, they don't with, have to. Uh, they don't have to use their whole six, right? They do. They got to. They got the the first guy's gonna oh, come do? on six, and then everybody piles in behind him. Yeah, but it, okay. Does he really have to go into the river? So, no, yeah. no. Then he stops. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. If that's what you're looking, I'm sorry. I'm I'm fixing dude over here. All right. So, bring the rest of these guys. And put them uh, put them behind there. And conform. Oops. How close am I? Boy, those little tiny increments are really tough. Oh, it's too far. Okay, are they on right? That's all good. Yep. That's all good. There you go. All right. No, okay, that should, that should be all of them, right? Uh -huh. Yep. Turn 16. Turn 16. Will the uh, French please give the Austrians their mall? Ah, yes. For what it's worth, it's noonday. Uh oh, that, for the French okay. and Italian armies, they'll break for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna continue with the the SARS. Let's see, see what this gives us. Mm. Not a lot. You can't. Go you in tell the water. me where I'm. Uh, you can't go in the water. Yeah, not gonna go in the water. So can they intercept this? No, group or is that too much yeah, it's too slide? Much, too much slide, exactly. All right. Uh, about there. Mm hmm. I. But you'd have to back this guy out. No, back that guy? Okay. You'd have to get him out of the Let's, way. Uh, sequence these. Don't move them up as far. Up there. Now, some will say, surely he will eclipse this guy. That is one of the problems we have because we only have 15 degree turns. <laughs> so you oh, go, for you, clipping? You, yep. Go right up there and hit him. It's quite all right. There you go. Horse in the backfield. We have horse in the backfield, people. Mm. Okay. This is a different group. Well, he's his own. He's his cavalry of one. Uh, I think he would go there. Mm. He's going to be at six. Or, eh, can he make it? Problem is, his center yeah. is not facing his center. 
And I yeah. Don't okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we don't we don't need to stretch it just for. Yeah, he's not going to get there. You get to the berm, top of the berm. Uh, you can keep going. He's still. You can keep going. Uh, oh, he's, so no, he's only got him? he's or... only got six inches. I forgot. Yeah. He's only got six inches. So yeah, he's not going to make it. Nope. He's back in here. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's. Uh, that's probably the best. Too many horses in too small space. <laughs> Cavalry charges are not meant to be in creek beds, huh? <laughs> I don't think <laughs> so. A, yeah. One of Napoleon's maxims, I forget which one. 27. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it for that group. So that's a group of four. That's a group of four. All right, let's work with our other large group here. And he's gonna be at three. Ooh, in the creek bed, that's probably not a great spot to stop. Are there disadvantages for Yes. Stopping it? Okay. So let's yeah. not do that then. And also notice you're pushing around Landfair, so be careful. <laughs> Yeah, there. Don't, oh. don't, don't expect miracles. Okay. <laughs> Conscript, got it. Okay. Just, just saying. Yeah, let's sneak him up there. I had the great pleasure to uh to see a a riot in paris around the um uh around the trucadero area okay one time and uh when lunchtime came the police and the student rioters both broke for lunch civilized on on either side of the barricade in fact they shared food <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I thought it was very civilized. We could learn a few things. <laughs> so these guys are not going to be able to get through my advance guard, which has become a rear guard, right? Correct. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... <laughs> which has become something of a speed bump. Yeah, yeah. that do any better I, that's fine Let's just get them off there there you go and these guys are just gonna be not great Is this breaking the, yeah, the group it is. now? That's what I'm checking. And it does. Yeah, that's not awesome. Uh, okay, so where do you start here? Well, we'll probably gonna lose this one anyway. You just move to the side and yep. stick with this. Mm -hmm. okay, let's do that. Mm -hmm. And we got our artillery that just kind of hangs out then. Um, they also move to the side, or is that too much? No, it's it's the everybody's the same. It's okay, three inches. Oh, here, let me actually measure this out. Then, see, well, I seemed like you were going about that far. I wasn't worried about it. Yeah. So that was a okay. lot. And, so that was four uh, yeah. that way, plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, sorry, nine, 
10. 10. How's that? Uh, they can keep going. Uh oh. Ooh. Well. Now what? <laughs> well, now this group is re energized. I think they're still not going to be happy with you if you charge into that town again, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just sat down and they had session. You know, they <laughs> they sat down and they talked through it. Yeah. Shared their feelings. Right. <laughs> okay, who has the conch? <laughs> so that would be two more? Yep, that'd be 12. You got one more group you can activate, though, before we have to check. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, this is my attached artillery guys, right? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's start. Let's start moving these guys around. Uh, can I get two out of it? No, probably not, huh? I gotta inch them up. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, now going, I remember. Uh, now big. I remember. I think uh, it's you. Infantry can't charge cavalry. That's correct, right? No, it can. It actually, oh, it can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking one of those rule sets that they weren't allowed to. But maybe it's just maybe. I I can't do another swing, right? If I move. Uh, as long as you're only moving three, you can do as many as you like. Okay. Something like that. Sure. Okay. So, uh, you went over 12, so we know that you're out of points. So, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> guns guns moved. Uh, infantry, a ton of infantry moved. So, I don't know if you've got... Do you have any musketry? This uh, guy, that guy does. does. Because yeah. he got shot at by that guy. It seems only logical. He gets to shoot back. Uh, two, <laughs> no bonus. Preferably just as well as he was shot at. Fair. Yeah. Well, again, we've established... <laughs> that's the, the only, the that's the only sporting stuff. thing to do, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Couple just barely prize. missing. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing Getting there. closer. And, <laughs> yeah, you did start some melees, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Which one you want? Let's do this one here. Boom. Okay. Uh, five. All right, eight. who's got five? Five to eight. French have five. Austrians have... Fre French have eight. Austrians Gosh. have five. There we go. And Thank you. And Thank you. The Austrians <laughs> have to re-roll all their hits, right? I like the first version right. better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, saves me some re-rolling. I got one of them, and it doesn't matter because they can't lose anymore. All right. Well done, Roger. Well done. Three-inch bounce, or six-inch right. bounce. Six-inch bounce. Ooh. Over here, I would think. Over there. Yeah. Or, yeah. Pull, pull them down, down, down. Got it. She can't park them on the guns is all. I'll put them there for you. There you go. There you go. Guns have a no parking sign. No all parking right. sign. The white zone is for loading and unloading mm -hmm. only. If you got a load Guns would unload, only unload. But... Go to the white zone. All right, and uh, one more up here. Yes, sir. Uh, six versus... Six. Six to six. French reroll all hits. Four, yeah, I two, see four, four hits. Yep. One, two, three, four. Is it four to four? Is that what I see? No, I got a reroll. I got a reroll. Yeah, I know, but right now it's four to four. Yeah. Yeah. Four to four with the French rerolling. Can you bring them all back? <laughs> No, but by oh, one, bring one, back three. Of them. 
<laughs> one only. Now this is one of those. This is what I warned you about when I first taught the rules. He only loses one. You lose one, and he bounces. The Austrian. The, the Austrians bounce. Six inches back. Sam has opinions. I respect them. I. I I've. If. Of all the rules we talk about with Blucher, this is the most controversial, and I agree with it. All right. Northern. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like it too. Well, I think he's. I think he's right on that. Well, cavalry are basically bullies. Yeah, they they don't hey. stick around <laughs> if uh, if their uh, victims stand up for themselves. <laughs> oh, ouch! That's 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 excellent. Is what that is. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> Has the red zone is for loading and unloading canister only. Um, that's about it. All right, there it is again. Look at that. Okay. Turn seventeen. Oh, moving right along. All right, let's roll them. French got some mo dice. Do him. All right, Roger. All right, cavalry again. Yeah, bring Groshi into this fight. Wakey, wakey. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm gonna come at you. Let's see. <laughs> you. It has been said by the chronologist that that is the best description of cavalry he has ever heard. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> They have rubber horses. <laughs> Not anymore, we don't. <laughs> Hang on, that's the berm. Go that far on the berm. Does the... Does... The berm affect their movement? No. Nope. Is that rough, difficult nope. terrain? No. Nope. Nope. Okay, so. Oh, it, it doesn't. Cal no, it doesn't. So your cavalry can move, what is it, eight oh, inches or. Okay, so they can. Or 12 or whatever it is. 12, 12 isn't it? 12 inches. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so they could go a little bit further. That's. I uh, didn't need to go all that far. Because I, I don't want to get out of touch with the rest of the division. Yeah. There we go. On the other hand, I can only go six. Okay. Oh, that worked out well. They ended up lining right up. <laughs> Is gonna have to lollygag. I think. Oh. Did it again. <laughs> yeah, I keep doing that too. <laughs> and finally, these chokers. Okay, so that's all of them. That's five. You got another group. All right. Okay. Um, if I activate McDonald's core, mm -hmm. I only count, I'm only counting the ones that I move, that I actually move, right? As long as you don't need them to maintain the connection. 
Like, for example, okay. if you needed to move this guy mm -hmm. and this guy, but not this guy in the middle, mm -hmm. you'd still mm -hmm. have to pay to activate him. I see. So if I pivot on the guy on the far right end of the line. I mean, you're going to want to do that by base individuals. Okay. Okay. So let's see. But yeah, you're only going to pay for what you move. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you want to or not, but you've probably got the ability to hit him because you can go six. I don't know how far away you are. Well, I'm at three inches right now. Yeah, good point. Let me check. Yeah, short. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave him there. Okay, so if I just go three, mm -hmm. I can turn him, right? Absolutely. Okay. He's Oscar probably too much. Advanced. Okay, so let's see, we move one, two, three, four, five. So that was five plus five, ten. Can the French keep going? Still going. Still going. Wait. <laughs> All right. Uh, Actually, so... let me, let me re recount that here. You are, you are at your limit. Oh, yep, they're done. Okay, that's so we're done. They're done. Okay, French guns are gone. Musketry, musketry, musketry. That guy there. We don't yeah, want on the left. Him. Yep, we sure know about that fella. Uh, he gets to shoot. <laughs> uh, interesting, that's closer now. So he's yep. going to go there. Still outside, but that skirmish range. So two with the most. Okay. Uh -oh. oh. What was I doing? I don't, I don't either. <laughs> oh, that didn't help. It did not. Those guys all moved. Oh, these guys. Here. Are those guys there? Yeah, because they're the only one in that group that did not move. Yeah. Nope. Nobody uh, ran. Too far away. Yeah. However, here. Yeah, Voltigur's uh, Volti 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 here. Over at the horsies. Yep. Um, doo -doo -doo. Still four or three less than that. They're less three. because okay. they got hit. Uh, uh, okay, three. All right, three coming up. Oh boy! Uh, nice. nice. They're fatigued. Man, Roger, you need to do all my shooting for me. <laughs> <laughs> and more shooting here. Okay. That would be five, six, three, three, three again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not that time. No. 
bent all your luck. Uh, <laughs> did them fellers move? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Shot, they had a shot there. They do not. And they're out of arc. Uh, that's it. Well, it can't shoot from water. Okay, that's it. Turn 18. Austrian die rolls, please. Okay. And they have it. Okay. Okay. Some unfinished business over here. <laughs> Just before the plank collapses. <laughs> One more there, please. Yeah. There you go. Pow. Okay, Roger, we got them right where we want them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. We have enough infantry in the wrong side of the river to crush them. Oh, easily. <laughs> <laughs> what a great sentence. I believe the French had that exact problem that day. They're not going to get all the way there. Uh, no. That too, too much. No, it's because they're... Yeah. Well, that was one turn, but even that's going to not yep, be the right the angle. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, let's. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. I think that was their original. Agree. Uh. Let's. Let me take them out. They make it. Uh, nope. Are they restricted to six yeah. on that one coming from the water? Yeah, exactly. Well, um, let's. They can still turn to the left, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. I don't think they're going to make it no. there either. I mean, shoot, at six inches, you can shoot them straight sideways. Oh, yeah, I suppose. And that's the first group. Now, technically, it's two different groups because you got this AG guy. Oh, here. yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, so those are one, my... two, three, four, five. I'm going to assume Austrians that they can keep going on a five. They can. Okay. Two more groups. All right. Now, well, let's get this group over here. And do this one. That's gonna be a single. That's cause that's a single. Okay, let's do. Let's get this group moving. That still count as a charge. Well, what you want to do is you just go straight ahead. Yeah. Okay. You had him hard. There you go. Bunk. And uh, you know what? Yep. Here we go again. 
as if it didn't rally the, the boys and <laughs> rally the boys and send them in again. All right, so that was uh, five, six, seven, but you still got one more group you can do. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to the basics. Hmm. All right. Now can he get a uh, get there? He's not. He, he just not no, going to be able to get past him unless they be, move. He's going to have to do the, the side shimmy. Mm -hmm. So coming across here, he's got to turn. Remember, his center has oh, to face. Oh, yeah. That's fine because as long as he can clear, he can get through there. Yeah. And. Hmm. No, no, you got six, because you're charging. Oh, six. Okay. Yeah, I got it. A little more comfortable. It's over there. Yeah, there just go. gen him up over there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it. How does Landver look real happy about this? <laughs> <laughs> sure, they they are all, they are all, they are looking all at in. this, going, "I'm sorry, what?" Uh, they may have, they may have come in running, but they're gonna be limping back. And so, uh, this is this is another that one work? Those, nope nope it'll work fine go in there this is an angle deal there you go that's it yeah. just make sure you hit him nudge him in Leroy Yankins <laughs> that's <laughs> I didn't I never knew he was Swedish um, the uh, he's gonna be stuck at three though. Okay, that was a second group. Yeah, so that was five, fourth group. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, quite a few. Yeah, they're, they're done. All done. They're yeah. done, okay. Oh, well done. Well done. Uh, guns, cannon. And, oh, we got anybody? No, nobody's around. Not nobody's yet. Nobody's around yet. Uh, musketry. Mm, these guys probably. Oh, they're they're in water. Never mind. They're touching water. Touching the fish. No touchy fish. <laughs> if you touchy fish, you get skirmies and have to fight the French. <laughs> uh, no, no shooting. Okay, and a boatload of melees. Where do you want to start? All right. Go here on the left. So where are you at? <laughs> and Back it's on your, to the it's on your left, so my left, so yes. There we are. All yeah, our way first, down there. first horsey charge. Horsey charge six, six to five. The five re rolls all hits. The six Austrian. Affirmative. Okay. No, that's not good. Three to two, two re-rolls. Oh, no, two re-rolls. Mm -hmm. yeah. Neither. No hits. Three hits. How? Takes him to two. And you bounce, horsies. Six inches facing the right way. But that That's a punch. That's a punch for sure. How about these guys? Now the prepared. Yeah. Five to five to six. The five rerolls all hits. Two. Okay, Ooh. can't lose more than that. The uh... <laughs> bounce. Back six. Yes. Man, Roger, at this rate, Gucci's going to be hitting air. <laughs> <laughs> All that cavalry is going to be here. dead. All right, here they come. That's a. Uh, oh, they, I'm sorry, they can't. That's fatigue. That unit fatigue. is fatigued. You, oh, uh, right, right. You, you, you can just go ahead and pull it back like you would have, and in fact, like you have to. <laughs> 
Keep going. Put, put him back behind. Because that's what you would have done. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. It's, that, that, guy's, that guy's toast. Until you rally him. Now, this guy, though. Did you... No, you did not charge with him? No, nope, we just went to oh, the side. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, he's, he's doing there. Might be fatigued anyway. Is he? Where, where is he? Oh, he's got three out of seven. Yeah, he's got three, so he, he could, but... He could, strong. but... These lads. Deal advice. Which one yeah. do you want? The Lanver or the not Lanver? <laughs> let's let's try the Lanver. Let's see. Let's see how they're... Let's see what, let's they, see what they look like there. Oh, boy. That's a six. one to 17 or something? No, it's a four. <laughs> it's actually a four to six. They actually work. They may be too green to know they're supposed to lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lose by one. It's back six. Yep, facing the right way. They bounce. All right. Uh, just bring them to here. Uh, or keep no, them. yeah, scooch them more down this way. They should fit. Yeah. Nice turn. Oh, tabletop simulator. Give me five degrees, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. Now these guys. They're up on that berm. Five. Five each way. Wait, I only get five? Mm. Yeah, because of the berm. Oh. Well, that's right. annoying. It, it counts. Unless it counts. <laughs> let me check the attacking piece. I was actually just looking right at it. Yeah, attacking units. Never mind. You get six. Oh, okay. One. How many did you get? <laughs> I mean, looks like one for Austria. You got, and you got... The Austrians got two. Oh, oh two. Yeah. Oh, is it two four and up? It's four and up, yep. So it's okay. two to one. You actually won that one. That's embarrassing. Actually. <laughs> that, that's, that was embarrassing. Yeah. Um, you, and you must face the wrong way and go back six inches, French people. <sighs> Turn around in shame. Yes. Walk, walk of shame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is embarrassing. Well, you didn't lose to the line bear. Yeah. That would be that. really embarrassing. There we go. All right. Oh, crap. Why does it do that? All right. All right. You may advance if you wish. Inch and a half. Go. Next melee. In the town All or out right. of the town? Oh, uh, we'll do out of the town. Both in the rough. Four. Four to three. Or Austria. Four for Austria. Two hits. Mm. Three hits. A win for the Austrians. Mm. <laughs> All right. Same deal. Turn around six inches, please. All right. Okay. Now, this fun fest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> four. That's one way to put it. Four to seven. I've got seven? Yes. Oops. You won't need it. No hits. <laughs> Actually, you can tie. You could tie with no but we hits. Didn't. It doesn't matter. Ooh. You can't lose worse. Wow. That was rough. I guess I saved up all the good ones for the most important fight there. There you go. 
And you just found six. Go back the six. Affirmative. We're just all the way back to Vienna. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, come to think of it, guys, let's leave. <laughs> it's like I'm over two here. Uh, it's like we tried. We, <laughs> we would tried. you please you can, this this town is not falling. You can tell the Kriegs <laughs> rot we really, really tried. Uh -huh. The uh okay. Unfortunately, we have arrived at eleven o'clock Eastern. So what I kind of want to do, what I kind of want to do, is do one more turn sequence to at least get us to turn twenty. So we'll we'll spin her around one more time, since we've been at this Sounds for four good. hours. I regret nothing. Um, <laughs> if the uh, French would give, or if the uh, Austrians would give the French their dice, please, on turn nineteen. Done. Okay. So how how far can cavalry charge? <laughs> Twelve. Just enough to get into this turn, I think. <laughs> and, and how far is that? Okay. Twelve inches. Oh, Twelve well, inches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Right. Not yeah. a problem. Not a problem indeed. Okay. Bring bring down the hammer, Roger. <laughs> All right, so here it comes. Here comes the, the anvil has been taking a beating, so we need the hammer. Mm -hmm. And the way this works, he is going to oh. get a flank. Okay, thank you. Right there. Pivot. Pivot. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Uh, well. That's yeah, that's actually, that's when you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Bang. And straight. There it is. This guy, on the other hand, he's going to have to work around. So he can't. He doesn't have a straight shot at him. Well, I'm not sure about that. Thanks. So. Yeah, it's just out of range. Oh, he's it's out, he's out of range anyway. Yeah. He'd have him. Okay. But it'd be nice if he could go for that artillery up there. <laughs> uh, wait, yeah. <laughs> Creek slows him down, though, right? Yeah. Not at the charge, but he's he's out of charge. charge range. Yeah. So he might have to. Move like that. He's actually going to wind up moving like. Oh, okay. Very good. Coming the hell out of the, <laughs> of the stuff. Out of the bocage. <laughs> yeah. That was a, yeah, my, my big mistake was not going south of the, the terrain. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so there's five. Mm -hmm. Next group. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the only thing I'm the only thing I'm gonna want to do on this side is oh wait a minute. Is he facing the wrong way, or the, yeah, he's facing the wrong way. Okay. The only oh, thing yeah, I'm you... gonna, the only thing I'm gonna want to do on this side is turn these two guys around. So, how exactly do I do that, Jim? Can I do that as a core activate part where, of the core activation? Where are you at? Sorry. Oh, uh, over here on the far yeah, left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're talking, these guys are all McDonald's core, so sure. Yeah. Right. So I can yeah, activate the only, McDonald's. The only problem is these guys mm -hmm. can be a core, and the rest of these guys can be a core. But this, there's ah. a gap here. Okay. So, so it would be two activations, right? Yep. Okay. So if I activate 
McDonald A over here. There you go. And rotate these guys. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. Does anybody else at McDonald need to move? Okay. Yeah, is um I can't remember. Is Lamandro has gotta be one of the or maybe not. Is it one of the um objective points? Lamandra Seems like that's something we should know right offhand. It is. I can't get there on this turn, but I could get pretty close. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> now these guys are not gonna, uh, they're not gonna have a shot at Kalnussi, are they? Yeah, they would. Are they? Oh, okay, perfect. Well, then I'll leave them where they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I'd like to activate all right, so you already McDonald's moved the five, beat. and then you activated one, two, three, four, five to get this to happen. So that's a total of ten. Can they keep going? They cannot. Oh. Oh, dear God. <laughs> All right. That's the party. All right. No that is average. the party. Musketry. You got some. I know you do. We do. We do. We do. Where do you want to start? Go ahead, Roger. Oh, well, let's see. And you uh, shoot at someone who's in contact with friendlies. I'm going to guess no. Where are you talking about here? Yeah. Yeah. Is this? Well, yeah, no, that's a melee. Guard. That's a melee. No, no uh, shooting into that's, melee. That's what I thought. Yep. Okay, so it looks like the first shot's going to be, well, probably have a angle problem here. Not a range Where's problem. that? Here? Yeah. And anybody, yeah, it's, that's not close. Okay, so it looks like the first one's going to be here. All right, shooting at horses. Six, six mm -hmm. current, three. Three coming right up. Oh. Not a thing. Been picking lessons from the other flank over here. <laughs> now, these guys didn't have a chance to move, so they can shoot. Well, those guys can't because they're facing the wrong way, but these guys can. Exactly. All right. What they got? Six? Yes. How? What's that range looking like? Yep. Six dice for, for sixes. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, at least they shoot a little better. <laughs> and now this guy? Yep. Man, what six, does he got? I think that's going to be six dice. Yep, six dice. Okay. He didn't have a bonus or anything, right? Nope. Okay. Oh, his attached artillery got him an extra die, which is why he shot six. Skirmisher, I gotcha. Skirmishers only work at volley range. Okay, so that's one more hit. Yep, gave it to him. These boys Excellent. moved. Yep. And oh, um, these... Did these guys move? Oh, I can't even remember. Yeah, they must have. Yeah, Okay. they moved up. Yep. All right, so the only other question is melees like we've only got the two over here huh? yeah got horsey melee horse melee okay. which one you want oh i'll hit i'll hit this guy in the flank uh, your advanced guard brigade oh dear 
He has shock. That's a bonus of one. He's charging the berm, but he's charging across it, so it doesn't count. Seven dice, and the advance guard. Ooh, two dice. Rerolling all hits. Ouch. <laughs> I don't know. They face canister. They've seen worse. They have. I got That's four. Four good. to two. Uh, they rolling. can't. They can't be dead any more than that. Sweet. Nice job, Roger. And it's uh, it has corrected me. You can take a three inch advance if you wish. Three inches. Huh? Mm. I don't think I want to. Well, you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next. Yeah. Way to bring the hammer down. Okay, okay. we've got the charging into the rear of this Oops, fellow I have, here. You have to nick you one here. Oh, right, of course. And uh, right. same deal, seven. He rolls three, re-rolling all hits. Seven to three. Three. Uh, three, three to three, hits. but he's got to re-roll him. Yep. <laughs> oh, right. that's two. That fatigues him. It doesn't kill him. Three to one. Yep. And now he has to uh, he has to go turn the wrong way, which he already is. Um, <laughs> oh boy, he is. Uh, no, no, he's actually running, he's running into the river. Can he get that far? <laughs> he's got to go six inches. Can he? Yes. Oh, yep. Yep. He, does, oh, he just, he just barely. Moves. Barely. Just a quarter inch to spare. Oh, and you can man. advance that three inches. Uh, once again, eh, do I really want to? I don't think so. It's, he's he's in the kill sack. <laughs> he definitely that's, is. That's a thing. Basically an opposed retreat. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So that's all the melees? Is that it? Looks like. I think so. All right. Last turn, gents. Um, pity. That's what it is. Turn right. 20. The, uh, turn 20. Austrian, Austrian oh, dice? Austrian dice, please. All right, there you have it. All right. Be big rally, to big find, rally. Find anything <laughs> resembling a group here, but probably... <laughs> they are starting to look a little chaotic. My... You need Eugene, Eugene A. <laughs> yeah, you need. Yeah, there you go. The highest best use of my laundry is probably to. Oops, let me actually click the right button here. Probably to go hang out in town here, mm -hmm. visit the wine stocks. Okay. Uh. A lot of interesting angles here. I did this. Get a little charge in there. Oh sure. Last bit Round of fun. Uh, Round about yeah. that. And uh, these guys probably out of out of play. I suppose we could advance them to three, huh? Mm -hmm. I can't really do anything, but... Oh, they can get shot. They can get shot. They can, they can advance <laughs> into crosshair position. That's right. Which is what the previous guys did. But, uh, yeah, that's probably about it for that group. All right, we're that's the first group. That is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And uh, Sorry, these four. guys are probably about done running into a fortified village. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just about all individuals hanging out at this point. But I like this guy. He's been the most successful unit on the entire Austrian side. Mm -hmm. That's... Uh, One more go. Hmm. 
forth. Turn them up like that. Sure. You're supposed to make contact, but it's fine. So that's two. Okay. So that would be four two. plus two. So that's six. Can you keep going? French people. Oh, oh. Uh, six. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, they can. Keep going. All right. So ours, not so ours. Well, uh, okay. So this guy's just got one left, right? So he's, can he yeah, even do go. anything? He's got. He's got to go. go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is this one at? Is that five? So. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go out with a bang. <laughs> no retreat, no surrender. Well, see, they're in the way of, of him retreating, so he may as well <laughs> slice trying, a few off. Trying to and trying so, to blow a hole through. Yeah. So this one isn't even, you can't even do anything with him, nope. right? You'd he's have just, to try to get him out of you, the, You'd have to yeah. run him, but... I think you'd probably <laughs> run him through there. <laughs> you'd have to shoot him this way. Oh, shoot him! You can't put him through. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got to shoot him that through way. Enemy. Uh, I'll, I'll oh, just yeah. leave him. Then. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can do that. Jeez. I'm sure confused. So uh, that'll be two more for this one, right? Well, actually, There's... sacrificing him to protect the rear of your better guys. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that's, yes, yeah. that's it. Play. That's uh, you actually. <laughs> I like get, that narrative. You get one more activation because we do them in pairs. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, oh wait a minute! Oh, the, the, uh, the French the French activated first though, so this right. Actually, these cannon may be oh, of use. Oh, you this get next more time. and more. Okay, yeah, yeah. I I just understood what you said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, it's yeah, late where I am. <laughs> Copy that. How about moving this guy? Yeah, oh, hang on. I can do one of these first. Uh, the third Hussar Brigade. We're sorry, fate wasn't more discriminating. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, we're sorry, fate was not more discriminating. Yes. Now, if I, well, okay, that that was that second one. Never mind. Are these cannon going to be in range? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for the I'm record, seven up. nine. We are at nine eleven. How's eleven? I imagine they're done. Eleven. Yes. Yeah, they're done. All right. Guns. You get a gunshot. Look at this. A gunshot. <laughs> at them horses. First on this flank. At them horses with a. F it's gonna be. Is that canister range? It is. Ooh, oh. Man. Ouch. So that's gonna be. Well, you could do some real flank damage here. I just want to make that, sure right? of something. Five with a bonus. I like it. Not that Austrian artillery has done anything <laughs> less than shine this entire See, here it comes. Conflict. Whoa, no. All right. So Austrian's five, right? Yes. Nothing. <laughs> And they continue. Oh, are for the course. Oh, oh man. <laughs> the horses charge right in front of them and they can't apparently see them. <laughs> they were moving too fast. <laughs> All right. Musketry. Do you have any? Uh, yeah. boys here? Uh, Roll over. Yeah. Say they don't can't go there, but they can go there. Go there. Yep. That's uh, th that's five. Three, no bonus. Three. Nope. Wah, wah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Melee movement. Is that it? Uh, like yeah, because these guys are going probably too far across the yep. across the water. Melees, which one you want? Okay, well, uh, 
include the horsey drama first. Sure. Vengeance. Uh, five to... Ooh, this could suck. Five to two. two <laughs> oh my God. Two re-rolls all hits. Oh, I knew Ooh. it was going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep oh, that hit. Four to, four to one. Let's... Yeah. You're dead no matter what. Oh, okay. Just doesn't matter. Just... <laughs> that actually does require me to uh, cut the French morale a little bit. Now this one? Justice. Oh, you can't yeah, did do he that have any, That's He didn't have oh, any right. schlitz yeah, left, not, right? He's not yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not he's, doing it. He's, he's, he's confused. Yeah, he's, just waiting. Boy here. he's just waiting to die. Yeah, this yeah. boy here is... Uh, that's two... Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Ooh. Two to six. Two to seven. And seven... And uh, the two reroll salt hits. <laughs> Mathematically, it is possible. One hit. There's a reroll. Yeah. So you lose and have to bounce. And you're fatigued. Ooh, let's see. Where do we go? Probably past that. Yeah, keep going a little bit. There you go. Melee, which one? This one here? Okay, yes. That would be the next Let's one. Let's say two. Don't lose. Uh, two to five. So, I have five? Yes. Four hits. That's a kill. Oof. The Austrians. Well, stay in the creek bed, huh? <laughs> Don't get out of the creek. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I thought it was never get out of the boat. I am confused. Yeah. Standing with wet socks and shoes is actually the better, better line of action. Is the better, is the better right. plan. Uh, all right. Is it just this last one yeah, then? This last one. The last. The last hurrah. The last charge. Uh, four. Badly four to, beat up guy. Over four here. to three. Four yeah. to three. Four to three. Four. Two hits. One hit. Got him. He has to go back six inches facing the wrong way. Okay. You're right. Most Your uh, Colorado's mm -hmm. Brigade was the most successful one you had. Well, though we are uh, two-thirds the way, believe it or not. Actually, a little less than that. Um... It's now, what time do we got? Ooh, it's almost 11.30 here in the great central standard time zone. Um, still, I uh, I think we can see the way this one was heading. We uh, had a we had a French morale of, that stood at six and an Austrian morale that stood at three um, with the French in fairly easy reach of Oh, he went to defend Lamandra, so he'd have to kick them out. That's fair, but uh, some other easy points that were there for the pickings. So we'll call it a provisional win for the forces of France. Although I want to give a lot of credit to the Austrians for coming in and digging in and taking on a pretty difficult defense. Because my God, there's a lot of French people. <laughs> there's a lot of French people. Yeah, they're just all on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is also true. Well, I, I hope you gentlemen had a good time. Um, Absolutely. And oh, yeah, did. definitely. And uh, learned a little bit about the way Tabletop Simulator does things and what we can do things with it. It's uh, been my pleasure to host. A joy to have you. Uh, let's see who's left out in the chat to hang out with us. Um, <laughs> hey, AP, good to see you, man. The, um, the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, there we have, we still have five people that stuck it through, bless your hearts, all the way through. Wow. What am I doing the rest of this? Tomorrow at noon, high noon uh, central, I will be hosting a Memoir 44 Stalingrad game. Oh, nice. 
so this is it's a an epic big table Stalingrad scenario that uh, folks are signed up for. So we'll do that. And then tomorrow evening in the regular Saturday Night Fight slot, we will finish our giant battle of Trafalgar for two fat lardies kissed me hardy. So um, yes. for the purposes of those watching the broadcast, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, please, those who are doing it, enjoy the rest of the San Diego Convention. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just uh, players hang around one second. But to those watching, I just want to say we'll see you soon. And until we do, please take care of yourselves and one another. We'll talk.